and welcome to the building of the build of the month here on Dwarven Forge Live. I am Nate, and this is... This is Selena. Woo! And we will be your host today for, uh, I don't know, hour, two hours, hopefully not more than two hours. Five. <laughs> no, it's a couple of, you know, a, a nice little chunk of time uh, building the build of the month for... What month is it? Is this for... Are we doing this month's month? Are we... Yeah, this is for May. Yeah. But next month, we're going to be... I mean, this... the re... <laughs> Later in this month, we're going to do next month's ahead of time, right? Yes, that is the, the dream. That's, we're, we're, we're getting on a new schedule. So our, what is our, what is yeah. our new schedule? <laughs> I don't even oh, know. Yes. I'm Speaking already off of it. Speaking <laughs> yeah. of the schedule... <clears throat> um, you know, we have on the anvil this week, as we do every week. Wednesday is at 7 um next monday we're going to have another uh actual play D, &D game dm'd by nate mm. nate do you want to talk about that at all uh yes i was i meant we were going to talk about the schedule of building of the bill of the month but i will we're, oh I'll, okay no, let's do this. no we're here we're here we're we're gonna what's well, actually yeah. let's, hang on let's back up so this is building of the bill of the month what the heck are we doing here we are gonna build our bill of the month we have a monthly uh youtube is it a series is it a show what is it it's a uh, it's a, a you, yeah, I'd say series. It's a series. It's a very serious series. Uh, every month we do a new, uh, we do a very new build. Very serious. Very, very serious. Very curious. All of those things. Uh, and uh, so now we, when with the launch of Twitch, we decided we would build the build of the month uh, live on camera because we got to build it anyway. Might as well just film it and see what happens and take some cool input from you guys. So that's what we're doing today. Um, what I was talking about for our schedule is what is our, and then we'll talk about the live game. What is our what is our our future schedule for Bill of the Months? We're going to release them the second second Tuesday, and we're we, shooting them. We don't tell people oh. when we're supposed to upload it in case we can't. No, <laughs> so that's... everyone forget what you just heard. No, we should tell them uh, so that then we have to do it. We... No, no, <laughs> it's okay. the same reason why we don't release a Kickstarter date until like right. we're locked and loaded. Well, we um, should... because you know, like last, like this coming month, uh, no, last month it was late, and it's going to be late again this month. Oh, yeah. and only we know that, and now everyone who's tuning in will know that, but I'm going to men in black flash their memory so they <laughs> forgot all of this. But next month, uh, June's will be on time and moving June's forward. June's going to be on time. Uh, the next building of the Build of the Month is actually two weeks from today, so. May 25th, right? Yes, May 25th. Cool. And that'll be for June's Build of the Month. Anyway. Yes. Yes. And speaking of the wild, of our Kickstarter schedule, our Wildland schedule, we're theoretically we're going to lock down a date this week and we won't announce it officially but we're uh start things are cementing up i don't know when we'll actually announce it but it's it's there will be it's impending uh so i dropped the i dropped the link for our mailing list for wildlands in the chat so you guys can sign up for that and then you'll know when we know and hopefully we'll know when we know too i'd love to know <laughs> won't we all uh so we're also uh so the game we're talking about so next week funny you should mention the game it's, so i'm running a game next week for uh a bunch of the offices gonna be playing it's this sort of we're doing these one shots but it's consistent characters uh so chug will be back and hex will be back and then three new characters that you haven't met will be there and they're gonna be going through a series of missions that are one shot missions but it's all kind of strung together and it's a prequel leading us right into wildlands whenever that launches which we will be telling you about soon ish so what i wanted to do today it, and this is one of the reasons Selena is here. Is Mace is playing next Monday, so this is going to be a surprise to her. But I'm I'm using today's build as a kind of a test run for a thing that I'm going to run them through uh, next Monday, so that you guys can be here for the uh, the genesis of it, the, the first draft, as it were. Um, is there anything we should tell them before we? Oh, we wanted to talk about future building of the build of the months or whatever, right? Um, well, we were talking uh, right before we went live that we're trying to find a way for this to become its own identity. It's because it, it feels on the anvil -y. So if you guys have any ideas on how to make this stream extra special, we'd sure love your input, which is why we do this. Like we, we're yeah. here to talk to you guys because you guys uh, give us a lot of great suggestions and, you know, we're making stuff for you. So it just makes sense. Well, it's, you know, we're streaming from my basement and all these. So trying to find a way to make this one feel different from the other show that's streaming from my basement in two days. And so we look, if you've got any ideas on how we can give this show kind of its own identity. Um, and we also would love to hear, you know, what kinds of what kinds of builds of the month would you like to see? 
right? What is there some specific train, train, terrain that you'd like us to use? Are there any sorts of types of encounters you'd like to see us attempt? Are there, uh, what else do we want to know from them? Uh, well, before we talk about that, Reaper Miniatures just raided us. Thank you, Reaper. Woo! Oh, you know, Welcome, just, Reaper people. I'm just painting up some Reaper Goblin. Uh, oh, I guess to say it, because this is a spoiler show. Yeah, I'm painting up some Reaper Goblins. Um, well, by painting up, I mean I've primed them. But, I have, uh, but yeah, they're get, they'll, they'll be painted by next Monday, and that's what we'll get to in a second. Uh, but, oh, what else? Uh, what jokes, right? Well, that was the other question. What oh, jokes? yes. If you guys, as we go through this, if you think of any great puns, uh, some, and it just like be funny, just this is your opportunity to shine. Uh, I'll use stand up comics there in the audience. Uh, we, we, the, uh, cause you, I don't know if you've watched the build of the month, but uh, it's pretty, it's a pretty fun time. It is. And it's punched up. There's lots of fun jokes. Selena spends a lot of time putting in all sorts of extra nonsense, layering nonsense on my nonsense for double nonsense, squared nonsense. So, you know, throw us more nonsense at us um, and let us know what kind of nonsense you enjoy. Uh, is there anything else we want to hear from them before we talk about this thing? Um, in, I guess. No, we have a few more announcements if you would yeah. like me to go into those. Announce us. Uh, as you guys know, we love the people over at Wormwood. Very good Woo! friends of ours. Their Kickstarter has passed a million dollars. Ah, it's their most successful one so far. Very proud of them. It's, uh, and it's... they have three days left, so go check out their dice. They, it's their first dice Kickstarter. Uh, they're they're doing um, some like you know some old favorites. You have some gemstone dice, um, some re resin dice, but they're also doing wood dice. Um, and then a lot of the crafts people teamed up and came up with custom dice to like represent like their flavors uh and those are those are pretty cool did they show uh, the them? bobby bennett dice and the savage quinn dice are my favorite yeah did they show the savage like is it on worm life or is it because all i saw on that was that one little they showed like a little still of it do we know more about the savage savage i have it i'm not caught up on worm life i'm yeah. one behind so i'm not entirely sure if they show it but it wasn't the update and they're pretty they're like they're they're eldritch dice uh, so they're like pink and black swirls, and then they have a, a custom uh, dice box that is a tentacle wrapping around the Wormwood logo. Woo. I'm gonna get those. <laughs> so, and they're, uh, and then, I think they're at like 1.3 or something at this point, 1.3 million, which is yeah. They're cruising. Woo! They're so proud, so proud of these boys. Uh, they next up in Kickstarter is a people we love, Steamforged. Yes. Uh, they are. They have two days left to go on the Resident Evil Three board game kickstarter uh and i'm gonna drop these links in the chat now did they break a million yet they were they were inching towards it i don't know where they're at but let me give it a those. quick check yeah we love those guys they're like uh yeah similar. steamforge came by um the office back in the like olden the, days before pre pre-pandemic in, in, in the before times yeah uh, they've not hit a million yet, so everyone go donate a million dollars into their Kickstarter. Nice. Well, I guess maybe they should save that million for ours, but you can donate like a, a 500 bucks, and then you can save the million for And then us. give us a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Just say it. Just throw it out. Yes. What other, um, uh, what other announcements do we have? Announces. Yeah. We have, uh, we have, we're doing a giveaway. We're doing a castles Woo! giveaway. We're giving away a postern gate, a nice little entryway into your epic castle. How you enter that is you share a castle build with us on social media. Uh, it doesn't have to be actual castle pieces. The uh, idea is we want you to get creative so you can get some castle pieces. So we've, we've seen some with dungeons. We've seen some caverns. Uh, we saw some with sewers uh, yeah. where, where it's, it's, get, we're get, it's getting cool, getting flirty. Yeah. Well, uh, and we're going to be announcing the winner to that on, on the anvil this Wednesday. And the point is it doesn't, you know, you don't have to have five thousand dollars worth of castle and build like the you know eight foot long thing like you can build a cool little you know it doesn't have to be some sort of mega thing you shouldn't be intimidated by like oh i i can't enter that i don't have enough things like people are literally doing cool small clever builds that don't have any castle pieces and it's awesome we love it uh and then you know a few, few more things uh our facebook fan page we're almost to a thousand uh group members when we hit a thousand uh we will be giving away a dread hall of forest prototype what uh, uh, that will be signed. What number? How close are we? At? We're at like nine sixty or something. Clicking now. Click 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 real time. Clickety click click clack. 
I can't tell. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a lot. It's a lot. It's it's between 900 and 1,000. Yeah. We're very close. What else? Invite uh, 40 of your closest friends to join. We, you know, we're, um, we don't like to quantify things like time and numbers. Or, you know, just let it be a little free. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. And then finally, uh, we just dropped some pre-order sets onto our website. You can pre-order, um, I believe it's a Starter Cavern, classic remastered core set. Uh, a few of our little starter sets, uh, we're introducing this pre-order system. And if it goes well with these sets, we'd like to do it for a lot more. And so if you... If you can let us know if you think this is cool and if you'd like to see more, um, and spoiler alert, it. spoiler alert, it is uh, it's already been a good success and we're gonna roll out some more. We're cooking up the next batch of stuff that'll come out soon. Who wants to quantify time? It'll be it'll be soon. But yeah, it's been uh, so far a great response and uh, it's working for us. So yeah, we're gonna start leaning more on pre pre order so you guys can lock yeah. down the sets you want so they don't sell out. Yay! Everybody so wins. check out our uh, social media accounts down below. Uh, follow us. Give us your <laughs> feedback there. I, I'm personally I do the Twitter. So if you want to like just let me know how cool my hair is, and then uh, also say if you like pre-orders or how much or how to make build of the build of the month special, uh, just contact us there. We respond pretty quickly. We're Ooh. around. We are. We are around town. Uh, do we have any other? Uh, we have any other? That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Let's get it. So. <laughs> So this is only our second building of the bill of the month, and it might be a little different than our first one, which was last month. But last month, you should watch, uh, if you didn't watch, watch Psionic Maelstrom with a link. It's Look at that. Oh, that was like, dude, we are like a superhero team. This is the best. Uh, so, you, yeah. Uh, so you watch that. We, we it was Last month, it was pretty freeform. Like, literally, I just poured out a box of, of Underdoom. and was like, I don't know what we're going to build. Let's build something. Everybody threw in some cool ideas. This month, uh, a little different. I have a better idea, or I have a specific thing I want to accomplish, but there's going to be some room for you guys to throw some crazy ideas at it. So the idea is we're going to use, we're going to take a, a Cree colony, a Burroughs stilts, and Burroughs elevation. So a big old, big old box of Burroughs here. Uh, and we are going to make a Goblin Warrens. Uh, so let's go, uh, let's go to the table and we'll take a look. Which, uh, what are we going to start with? We're going to start with... Triple Enclosed. All right. All right. Hello. Welcome. So, for the uh, for this game uh, on Monday, I want to have the uh, I want to have the players go into a Goblin Warrens, and my the sort of the reasoning behind this is um, the sort of looking at the player lineup. We have um, we have a sorcerer. We have a wizard. We have a artificer, we have a druid, and we have a monk. So they have an enormous amount of kind of AOE spell damage, um, and a lot of monks got a whole bunch of attacks. They got a whole bunch of stuff to like mow down large swaths of small enemies. So I want to throw just like an endless, just a, a horde of goblins at them, and let, have that fun thing. Like the goblins are seven hit points, so it's going to be almost like every hit is going to be a kill. And it's going to be kind of like fourth edition with those minions, where it's like one. You know, you just have to hit the thing and die. So it's just going to be tons and tons of goblins that they can just be fireballing and lightning bolting and webbing and fear. And the uh, chug is going to be like boom, 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 boom. What? You have to rotate your mic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Finley Shards. Finley is all is on it. Um, all right. So uh, anyway, so hordes, hordes and hordes of goblins. Also, uh, if you've read, anybody has read this book. The monsters know what they're doing. Key Solomon Classic. This is amazing. Uh, awesome, awesome reference for Dungeon Masters. Uh, anyway, he has a nice little... He has a bit on every monster in their monster manual, but a bit on goblins. So the fun thing about goblins, free, disengage, or hide. right? So the, And they've got short bows. So they're fast hit-and-run skirmishers. right? They don't want to get too close. They only have seven hit points, but they've got short bows. Um, so they can, they can shoot, move, hide rinse and repeat uh which is going to make things lively for the players and then we're going to be in the in the burrows right so it's going to be dark it's going to be kind of scary it's going to be really narrow we can make a labyrinthian thing but also they can go after not everybody has dark vision in the group so they're going to have some sort of hopefully a torch or some nonsense so i'm going to have the goblins can go after the torch 
to try and if they can take out their torches, then they're like they're going into into darkness. So half the group is going to be blind, uh, and they're going to be easy targets for the goblins. I think you know it should get it should get pretty uh, it should get pretty kind of scary. And so that, that's the other fun thing is right. So you know like if you're a fifth level character rolling in with a crew of fifth level, you're not worried about a bunch of goblins, right? Like, no. Right? They're CR. What are they? CR half or a quarter? Like they're they're like nothing, right? And uh, I gotta actually see what CR they are. Cause they, they're and, so. Uh, I already dropped this in the chat, but my home game currently has cult corrupted goblins, and so we fight a goblin usually every se- the session, and I'm uh, I'm over it. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'd really like the, to stop fighting goblins because the hide, uh, that hide bonus action is Quarter. awful. It's awful, right? Awful. They hit and run. So yeah, they're a quarter. They're CR a quarter. So we can we can throw you know a base level encounter with a what a level five group that's like twenty goblins or something. So. Um, and then we'll we're gonna get more live. We're gonna throw a lot more in. Anyway, so that's the the idea here is we're gonna build a um build a goblin warrants to give these guys some fun and hopefully more than they bargained for. They'll be maybe they'll be um they'll be over uh, overconfident going in because they're like oh it's just a bunch of goblins uh, and then it's just gonna be a bunch of goblins and then there's gonna be some traps and some alarms or whatever uh, and you know it's gonna be hopefully it's gonna be fun is we're gonna uh, you know it's. I'll let them know when they're going in that like you can blow everything. Like this is going to be a a situation where you don't need to like conserve and you know wait for your short rest. Like this is going to be like just blow all your spells, all your bills, everything. So they're just going to get to throw everything they've got at like an endless horde of goblins. It should be fun, right? They're just going to so be fun. right. They're get, they hopefully they can like level a hundred goblins before this thing is done, um, <laughs> right? Because that's like it's just going to be like I don't know. It should it should feel like a kung fu movie. They're just they just keep coming. Um, and maybe like attacking one at a time. Except I'm like a kung fu movie. They're gonna shoot from the distance. So, um, ob- for the objective on this thing, what I want to try and do is so we we take the Cree colony and then I added stilts and elevation packs. I want to do a lot of I want to do a lot of verticality, right? One of the things when we designed the burrows was they've got a lot of neat. You know, we've got these stilts and these stilts and a variety of ramps. So we can do some like. Oh man, I already lost a magnet. I wonder how I wonder how recurring this is going to be. Um, <laughs> get the man. We we strengthened the glue for magnets uh, in Cavern Steep, didn't we? Endlessly, but it's still never like the still. There's always one thing, right? The stilts, the burrows in this one, the stilts in um, the stilts in Cavern Steep. Like those stilts, you breathe on them, and the damn metal comes off. Darn metal comes off. Sorry, Grayson and Hawk. And I think the kids are watching because it's this is supposed to be creation class right now. I do. It's not art class. I call it creation class. We just like make stuff. Um, but it's normally from two to three is creation class. So I think they're watching this is uh, as homeschool right now. So uh, anyway, so we got a lot of fun <laughs> elevation stuff. So I want to do some neat kind of, you know, the idea is that they have to kind of spiral down and get. So for the, the adventure, they're going to have to they're going to have to get to an objective, right? It's not just going to be like kill a whole bunch of goblins till none come back not till there are none left. We want to like, there's going to be an endless stream of goblins. It's going to be get to the objective. They're going to basically have to bomb the, the thing. They have to set up a uh, arcane. So Toby's character is a, um, he's a hobgoblin artificer. Yeah? Oh, that's good. Um, uh, DMN Games uh, asks, uh, but what about the structural structural integrity of the burrows? Can it survive a fireball before it caves in on them? Which is this nice little added... Uh... <laughs> All right, we're gonna put, <laughs> write this down. This is like, yes, we could cave in inadvertent cave-ins is a great idea. I love it. I love it. Yes, keep them coming. Uh, so they're gonna basically Toby's character has to set off a bomb in the middle of this thing in the bottom. So the object is they have to get down there and set the thing off, and then they'll have like a, a teleport exit, so they don't have to actually get back out. So it can just be kind of a fast like race to the bottom and hold off long enough so that he can set this thing off and. Uh, and they can get out of there. It's gonna be they just like burn the bridges, right? All burn everything, burn it to the ground. Uh, so <laughs> it's gonna be like a. Uh, I'm thinking it's like a series of. Well, you guys tell me what would be a fun sort of arcane explosive. My theory was it was like a bunch of delayed blast fireball gems all chained together to like go off in a in a ring is one thing that would just sort of detonate the whole kit and caboodle, but. Um, whatever. So I'm going to start with a, a chamber on the bottom and then we're going to just start to try and go up and up and up and spiral and, and try and do some really crazy. Um, uh, weird elevation bits. I don't know how it's I don't know how it's going to exactly work, but. Oh, and oh, here's the other fun thing we got to We're going to put in a um, we're going to put in a chamber part way down. There's going to be a, a, a prisoner in a chamber. So there'll be this fun dilemma. You'll hear a, like a cry for help. 
and it's like, all right, do we deviate from the mission and see what the uh, see what the cry for help is? You know, you have to, or do you stay on target and like keep going down and like it'll slow you down to do the thing? So like, it's a it's a fun gray area. Like, you know, well, what do you do? Do you do you see who it is? Maybe they have information. Maybe they don't. Maybe you know, maybe it's just a fool's errand that's gonna get you all killed. Um, I'm missing, right? Yeah. Like what? Um, art art underscore turtle uh, said a good delayed explosive could be fungal bombs that cause poison damage and destroy the walls. Ooh. And you know, a fungal bomb. That sounds gross. It really sounds gross. It's a. Uh, it's also appropriate for. Uh, Hex is she's a druid. She's a the. The uh, circle of spores, or circle of, I think it's circle yeah. of spores from Ravnica. Um, you know, I think I'm already, I already miscounted my things potentially. Hey, Selena, can you look up the Cree colony? Yeah, I definitely. Elevation should... or stilts? Uh, no, the actual Cree colony itself. There should be two large chambers, I think, right? The. Yes. Yes, there are. Okay. Yes. Easy fix. Okay, so let's save a chamber for the prisoner. Man, I lost another magnet. Should we count? We can do it for the. Uh... <laughs> That's two. Uh, Finlay Shard says, "Hello, uh, Finlay." The goblin army moving towards the surface. The players need to destroy a structurally supporting column that will open the caverns to the ocean to flood the, Ooh. the caverns to the deep dark. I like it. Except we don't have an ocean Everyone... here. But what? Everyone takes a potion of water breathing. It's just like, let's flood it. <laughs> flooding the, uh, flooding it is. I wonder if this is going to give poor uh, rabbit burner like traumatic. Uh, that's a, you know, that's the the drama of a rabbit burrow is getting flooded, right? You got to. Oh yeah. That. Should we? Yeah. He's giving him. Oh, rabbit a burner hit in the chat. Is he here? <laughs> oh. Yep. Oh, rabbit. Are you traumatized by the idea of? A a flooding warren, a flooding burrow. Um, let's put. You know what I'm gonna do? Actually, I'm gonna put another. We terrain trees on terrain trees. I'm gonna build this. I don't know where this central, the the destination chamber is gonna go yet. So I'm gonna put it on a terrain tray on top of the terrain tray so we can move it around. Um, mm -hmm. I basically I put the put terrain trays on this thing because it's bright white and it just blows out that web camera. Uh, Rabbit burner says no. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. We are not rabbit. pleased. No. All right. Because rabbit so. burner is just twenty three a twenty three rabbit chorus. So just you hear all of them. They go no. Oh, they're down to a nineteen rabbit chorus. Oh, another couple. Oh, you no. got so the way. Everyone's subscribing. Thanks everyone for the subscribes. Specifically, Joe Pacelli. Uh, we got rabbit burner subscribing with Twitch Prime. Um. Where is it? Augustus Plays. Thank you for your subscription. Three whole months. Wow. Woo. Smash that subscribe button. You're right, Justice. When you're right, you're right. Yeah, Justice is often right. Justice was trying to find me a wild magic uh, surge table. Oh. Uh, mm. Speaking of tables, uh, in the one of the recent Worm Lives, they um they announced that they're going to be doing a um an uh comparative to their uh, current tables, a uh, less expensive table. Uh, their goal is to keep them around seven fifty, which is a great wow. bargain for a Wormwood table. Well, I mean, they currently start at ten grand, right? So yeah, seven fifty so is, is like the budget DM. The budget seven hundred fifty dollars is like a rent payment, but uh. That's cool. Gotta yeah, save up for that's my amazing. Table now. Wow. That's uh. When is that happening? They Doug said he wants it to go live in July, which is very soon. How are they like? I wait. They're running a Kickstarter right now. And wait, then they yeah. then they lay everybody off, and they're running a Kickstarter. How are they going to launch another thing in July? Like, they, they have a few people back, and they're having craftsmen work from home. I, I'm like exhausted just thinking about it. Yeah, well, you know they're not manufacturing the dice, so they have like open manufacturing right. time. Well, no, they have to make the don't they have to make the wooden dice? 
No, they uh they uh they they're sourcing all their dice out. It's the the dice vaults that are um that the fancy dice come in. They're working with Level Up and another company that does wood dice. Wow. So that's really Man, so that's the clever. They're kind of taking the Simon model, right? The cool mini or not. Those guys just basically have all, all these other teams bring them projects. They launch and run the project and then actually don't have to create. They're like, you know, it. doing the the creative uh Yeah. They're working with um oh what's the what's the owner of level up's name alex alex yeah they're they uh, they're working with alex on the designs and everything they're cool anyway yeah. just me constantly plugging wormwood i love worm life like i i didn't think i would it's oddly entertaining why do you think you wouldn't uh, well, I didn't think uh, watching a vlog about a word working company would be <laughs> my interest. Right on paper? You... <laughs> yeah, on paper, I was like, this is dumb. But uh, I I watch every episode. <laughs> Dwarven Forge is in those comments. Like, wow, great up, guys. Dwarven Forge is in... Oh, on the uh, show. Yeah, well, like, you know, I, I, run, I do our YouTube account, so I'm in the comments. I've heard of this. Hyping them up. Yeah. I'm gassing them up. That's a good thing, gassing. Rabbit burner said, um, "Lots of lucky rabbit feet will be available uh, oh. if the burrows came in." Oh. I feel like that's an unlucky rabbit, though. You know? Yeah. All right. So we're. Uh, what is this thing? So I got a. I got something for, like the central area. They're trying to go with two, two main ways in, and then another. Maybe this will go somewhere interesting i don't know let's try putting this like let's see if i keep it in the camera i don't know something like that mm -hmm. should we have maybe we'll have this next level maybe we'll have both of these we can feed down to this from both of these also let's see what uh see what happens you know what i'm gonna try also I'm gonna try just stilting a whole. Hmm. While well, try... you think about that, Joe Pacelli asks if there's a tentative start date for the Wildlands Kickstarter, and boy, would we also like to know that. <laughs> to you can sign up for our email list. Uh, I'll put the link in the chat. Uh, then when we know, you'll know. Yes. Uh, soon. Summer of 2020, yes. which is... Uh, I believe it was, it might have been Odin Forge, and if it wasn't Odin Forge, I'm sorry to whoever said it, but they said, um, yes, it's the X, X day of soon. The X, the, it's which, exactly... Uh, that's us. <laughs> that's, man, they know us so well. Oh, it was Finlay, of course. Okay. Of course. All right. I'm trying to think where I'm going to build because it's going to be used in we're going to fly it in on you know in a live game my thought is to kind of do a couple of levels on terrain trays so we can uh, fly it in with ease Let's see what happens easy slide the <laughs> what I said an easy slide what yeah. does that mean? I don't know. Yeah, I like I'm a trendsetter. It. I just throw things at the wall and see what sticks. Right? You, you throw a lot. You're just like... Whoop, 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 whoop. Fearlessly throwing. My my um, my childhood bedroom. My mom moved into a new house and she said I could decorate my room however I wanted. <laughs> How'd so, that go? <laughs> I had purple shag carpeting. Wait, 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 we got to stop it. <laughs> what, yeah. wait, describe like how thick pile, like what it, we, you can't just throw that out lightly. Well, I need to know more about Probably this. Probably like cause two I want inches this. of thickness and we also opted for the extra thick like cushion underneath it. So like when I had sleepovers, we all slept on the floor cause it was so yeah. comfy. That's amazing. Um, Art Turtle, I did not have a water bed. Um, actually I did as a little, a wee tyke, but um, in this specific bedroom, uh, my walls were Barney purple with lime green splatter paint and then on the splatter i threw glitter at it so it was sparkly splatter <laughs> it sounds kind of like the bobby bennett dice on the, on the it, uh... it was bobby bennett dice right 
That, what? Yeah, that was my P and I had a pink zebra striped comforter. Yeah, of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> And, and it matched my pink TV, which I still have. Whenever people come over, they're like, why is your TV pink? And I was like, this was a gift to 13-year-old me, and it still works, so I refuse to throw it out. Logic. Hard to argue with. Denth8 says, hey, Denth. Uh, asked if we can focus on using some sewers in the next build. Uh, Denth, did you see our sewers build of the month? The were rat uh, hole. Were rat gutter hole. Yes, uh, what a name. With, with a name like that. What's not right, to love? I will find the link and I'll drop it in for you. Well, you know, but that's a good. Wait, we've only done. So, have we covered every? Have we covered everything in Build of the Month? Have we done every? We have not done uh, Dread Hollow Forest, but that's. Um, oh, we were going to do that soon. with. Yeah. So we could we have that in the cooker. So we could do. We could go back and do sewers again. Um. Right. We if there's a. Uh, yeah. Uh, Denth did see it. Uh, he just wants more. Okay. What uh, any any more any specifics on what sorts of what flavor more? Uh, more requests for like a follow up cities. We did a tavern, but we haven't done like we haven't done heavy. Enough. We haven't done like a, a fighting like or a combat or a, a you know challenging encounter, right? It was just like, hey, I'm yeah. gonna hang out and get wasted. Like, and we have those nice ruined uh Tudor Tudor and uh, stone houses. Facts. Um, okay, this how do you DMK not ninja? Uh, Wait, what? Rolls off the tongue. Boy, uh, he nailed it. about Hellscape, so I'm sure uh, once Hellscape ships and people get it, we'll definitely do a build of the month for that. Yes, I'm. I bet we'll sh let's shoot that in like August, and we'll that'll be September's. You know, if we're not in a Kickstarter. Yeah. Yeah, what are we gonna do? We have to pre, huh? We'll we'll figure Rabbit that. Rabbit Burner out. says he wants a ruins build. More ruins. <laughs> okay. That one we just did ruins in Woman's Ancient Anguish January. So yes. So it might take yes. a moment before we do the ruins again, but we'll see. Um. We have a request for a castle, so I'm going to drop the link to our castle one. Um, specifically, not a ruined one, but we have one that's not ruined. But yep. we need to do a smaller castle, because that one is really big. You know, the uh, and then we have the ruined castle. It's hard to get smaller than that and have it be a whole thing. We could do, like, a facade or something. Um, yeah, like in the, the Postern Gate and the Barbican Gatehouse walkthrough videos for the Constructed Castle sets. I, if you guys look for castles, I suggest you watch those videos. Um you go into the murder holes and how fun it would be. And like, you like really go into detail about the murder holes. That's like, that's a real focus. I mean, with a thing called murder hole, how do you not get excited? <laughs> like, hey, this is me. I'm just like, I hear murder hole and I'm like, I'm in. But well, this is, uh, I definitely want to do something with this. Maybe we'll go. Hmm. What a lot of dais and elevation from DOD is uh, a request and a good one at that. More dais. Oh. You guys should check out the Days of the Dead in Dungeon of Doom if you haven't. That's a fun encounter. Yeah. When we were playtesting. <laughs> um, my paladin, I had the choice. Um, to like free an army of Maragasts or to use them to like fight off something and I chose to free them and then they chose to help me anyway. Which was beautiful. Of free will. Yeah. But those are those oh, fun... they came back later and helped us defeat yeah. Sasul. They rolled in at the moment and said, Hey, remember when you freed us? We owe you one. Here's a yeah. beer. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, beautiful. Those are those fun you know, those fun those fun questions that don't have a right answer for for players for everyone um of metal and magic says ah, um, love in regards name. to the murder holes um tell that to my players i described their new <laughs> keep in great detail and they didn't even care about the murder holes well they i i can i disparage your players on camera that is uh do it seriously like i mean they're murder it was holes a hot take. They're murder <laughs> holes. How do you not get excited? First of all, 
it, you gave them a keep. Like they should be like giving you like high fives and praise forever. They should be super excited. But then that you should you should assume that if you get a keep, it's gonna get attacked. And what do you want when you get attacked? You want murder holes. You need those murder holes. Your defense is already built in. You're ready to go. You're like, you can start thinking like, all right, how, where can we, this is our defensive spa. We hold up here. Like, I mean, ah, murder holes are awesome. I mean, just the name alone. Finley says, do an ancient tomb where there are loads of traps that activate to stop things getting out rather than in. Adventurers get to the oh. middle, complete the objective. And then have to fight out lots of cavern slash dungeons with all the traps. Well, that's a, a fun idea to keep stuff. Man, magnet number four. Uh, keep uh, the traps that keep things in. That's a fun. That's a fun idea. Right? They're like, why are there so many traps here? The spikes are all pointed the wrong way. Oh, maybe this oh. is after they've after they've <laughs> disabled everything. <laughs> They're like. Oh, there's a reason we were keeping the horde of undead inside the. Uh... <laughs> Whoops. Um, a metal and magic follows up with. I gave him a keep on a flying island too. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> you gave, you gave them a keep on a flying island, complete with murder holes, and they weren't like mm-hmm. over the moon. They were this. Uh... Classic oh. players. Right, you know. Can never, uh, can never please him. So, Nate, what are your, what are your, what's your process right now? I don't know. I, my, <laughs> my, so again, my process is good question, Selena. I'm glad you asked. Um, yeah. Artistically, I'm looking for something that has a, an organic flow while creating a series of horrible bottlenecks to murder, murder hole my players. Uh. I'm gonna murder hole my players. That's something. It's a thing. It's real. Uh, so um, while I've been in quarantine, I've been. Um, I decided to download Hinge. What's uh, that? Because I got lonely. What's Hinge? Uh, we're, Hinge is another dating app. It's okay. uh, a little more involved than Tinder. Um. And I had some. There's a a girl I'm chatting up, and she also plays D and D. And I had Uh-oh. some real good uh, D and D RP in a in the text in the chain. But you know, while I find it, you talk about uh, what a, terrain. my process. <laughs> what uh what yeah you gotta ask her like what her favorite class is, and that's like an immediate like. Judge She's currently character. playing a cleric because she was like whatever people need. need. Because it's her first campaign, so she just wanted to be a support, taking, which is very admirable. Yeah, taking one for the team. Cleric is dynamite, man. Especially first level yeah. cleric is way more powerful than a bunch of other classes, in my opinion. Like it's first level, like it's you just you come out of the gate swinging. That is, uh, yeah, I thought cleric is awesome. You know what it is? It's come a long way from the uh, from the olden days of first edition, for sure. Uh, so my, I think my process right now is um, trying, kind of trying. I'm thinking in levels, right? Where if this is like the bottom level, mid level, going to work to an upper level, um, and trying to have multiple ways to get everywhere, so that there are, you know, the players can continuously get surrounded. Um, and or those could be some fun little bottlenecks, right? So they could, you know, this like, this chamber is a cool bottleneck because everything going down stems in this chamber. So they could make, you know, maybe they set something like there's, they've got web spell or grease or I don't know what else, I can't remember what else is in their spell list or whatever, you know, but they could do something here um, so that, you know, there's there might be able to hopefully figure out some strategic spots where they can, they can uh, Finlay. slow down those guys. Finlay, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Finlay says we need lots of junctions and crossing passages so the goblins can surround them. Yes. And if we manage to get the players uh, to the players to get the players' torch, oh, and if the goblins manage to get the players' torch and they move around, you can easily yeah. get them lost. That's the fun, right? Well, I, I think. And also, Crystal Sully in the chat. Hey, Crystal. Welcome, welcome. Crystal's doing some cool top secret stuff for us. 
which I guess it's not top secret if I just said she's doing it, but no, it's not a secret that um, she's doing cool Emily stuff. Magic says there's lots, some fun flanking opportunities here. Yeah, and we're going to get, you know, the challenge is, I don't know if I have enough, I think for the thing I'm going to do on Monday, I'm going to probably use twice as many pieces, but <laughs> yeah, well, I just, it's it, particularly like the, um, the elevation, like I want to go up, 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 up. Um, but we'll see. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, you know what I also didn't um, didn't mention. We're definitely doing we're definitely doing the bundle this month. So Woo! yeah, um, all right. So it'll be if you get this, uh, you can buy. You can you can buy a, you'll be able to buy a bundle of these these three sets in our store um with a a bonus um which well don't it's it isn't confirmed but right now we're talking about a gift card which i think will 80 percent confirm we'll see we'll see if we can pull it off but yeah we'll give you a gift card so you get the whole bundle plus a gift card um which would be kind of neat see if that see if people enjoy that um there's discussions about um, what else killing players versus emotionally um, killing them? attacking your players. Uh, emotion, emotional emotional oh, sap is the the direct quote. Emo- so it's like you know giving them just like a brutal like like when we um, like uh, Killian in the Dungeon of Doom when you find out you have to kill his incorporeal form. Uh, there's just Dude, that like oh that was a uh, that was a tough gray area moment right where people like the uh, yeah those are fun well you know what it is you need to you need to hit all the notes right you can't just like there has to be losses or defeats or at least down moments that are um, that are meaningful right and there's consequences that's the other you know you want you want there to be consequences of what they're doing um, and yeah, you can't have like there's no you can't have everything if you're always just succeeding or having victories like there's no it's it becomes meaningless right or I don't know you don't feel the uh... Art Turtle says I'd rather be Art. dead than be hit in the feels. <laughs> <laughs> Same, right. dude. I feel that. I love I love that you can create real emotions with role playing games. It blows my mind. Like it's. You know, like you're this thing. You're all sitting down playing make believe around the table, but it's real. Like you feel like I don't know. You really like it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty intense. Yeah, my uh, in Sunday's D and D session for my home game, my backstory came up, and it uh, was like I had to like turn on the RP, like the what? Uh, and I just kind of like I left my group and like ran into the mist in the swamp, but just like looking for the person who I thought I saw. They were like, what was that? And I was like, I got lost going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is like red and puffy and you're like, nothing happened. I wasn't crying. I was trying to find the bathroom. Like, uh... and, they, and like out of game, they were like, Selena, that's a bad lie. But they found their insight check. So they were like, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, going back to these burrows, though, um, GMN game says, Oh, no, that's not the one I wanted. Uh, Finlay Shard says, Goblin needs a pet boule or umberhulk for mm. added. It doesn't matter where you try and hide. They can get you anywhere, Fear. Right, burrowing through the uh, walls or an egg or... We have... Uh, we've got these two Cree Royal Reavers that come um, with the uh, come with the set. Maybe we put them to, uh, to good use. You know, the other thing I want to put no, in... They're... Hmm? What? Uh, we made those up, right? We invented the Cree. We did. We were, uh, you know, we were trying to just do something. We were trying to do, see what happens if we made a new monster with a new sculpt, with a new thing, and see if it was like, if it, if people paid attention or cared or were interested or, you know, one of the challenges is, do you know, uh, is whether or not people are going to buy our min- miniatures or care or know that we make miniatures or care or are annoyed by it or whatever like you know we keep kind of pushing that button a little bit to see you know see what the results are see if people feel so that was one of the experiments was like well what if we make a brand new character a brand new creature and see how people uh see if it moves the needle at all i don't know 
what the Draconis. Dr okay, let's see if I can pronounce this. Draconis lupus Ooh. one uh, suggests an um, an earth elemental underground. Mmm, burrowing, burrowing. And Shane so Patrick good. says those eggs are some of my favorite insert pieces. <laughs> Let me put this guy right here. You see. Uh, you know, speaking of the, uh, <laughs> just gonna hang out and just keep an eye on things. Um, it's your manager. Yeah. Hey, get to get to work, Barry. He's uh, supervisor. He's he's not doing a very good job. He's sleeping. Looks like. Uh, you know the funny enough the. Darn it! Where's that big trunk? The uh, these burrows never, they never really sold as well as I sort of was hoping or dreaming that they would. Because I have, there's a bunch of stuff I'd love to do. You know, the the 45 degree pieces, and there's a bunch of, there might be some bigger chambers, and I don't know, a bunch of neat bits. Why do you guys in the chat think that these burrows were not like a a wild, uh, wild bestseller? Is it that they're just too specific of an environment? Is it that people didn't know how to use them is it that they're just a bunch of dirt i don't know what's the what's ryan noir says he was tapped out on budget and he had to stop somewhere so he drew the line of burrows you know that's very valid right in the in the dungeon doom it was like there's a there's a what is was it an 1800 hundred dollar dungeon or something or 15 you know there's like tons of you could you could spend a thousand dollars in the dungeon and not get everything much less trying to get this, and there's a Forsaken Temple, and it's in Jade also, and so there's definitely budget fatigue. But it, it hasn't sold like crazy in the store. It's sold, but it's not like, you know, it's not a thing we're jumping to make, to do a restock on. So I'm wondering why, uh, and there was some neat, like, you know, I think it's it's sort of fun and relatively quick to build with, and it's, I don't know, it's pretty intuitive. The, the walls, you know, it's got the low walls, so you can fit your minis with a big, you know, the big uh, weapon sticking out and stuff in there, no problem. Like, it takes these 32 mil miniatures, no problem. Rabbit Burner says there isn't really a point for it in Wargaming. <laughs> like, it's not too right. useful. Yeah. Well, I, have you tried Wargaming in a burrow, Rabbit? <laughs> I want to <laughs> see pictures. I want to see what happens. It could... Uh... Uh, Finlay Shard says um, he likes the burrows, but... Um, his normal table space is limited, so he didn't get too many. I, he thinks the one thing he'd do is have some wider tunnels rather than just the rooms, although you can just put things over the gap when you put four rooms together. And, yeah. like, more open spaces is something um, someone else said as well. Yeah. Well, it's funny. We, we specifically were designing it to not be a lot of open spaces, right? It's supposed to be claustrophobic and narrow and, like, force you to fight single file and, like, these kind of horrible things. But you can do some... You know, there's there's enough space to do something interesting there. But you're right. We we would do larger. I had a couple of larger chambers. Maybe we could do a double wide. I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever do an expansion for it or not. But um, I would like to. Yeah, uh, Brian Wellant says he shies away from small and narrow combat areas. Why? Um... A metal and magic says the burrows are really fun and unique, but I don't think it's something people think of when they look for terrain. Yeah, it's not. It's not a dungeon. It's not like a. Oh my god! Rabbit burner says <laughs> you would be surprised at what we've tried in a burrow. Winky oh face. boy! Man. This is a PG show, rabbit. No, he was talking about uh, traps. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um... No. Everyone take a drink mm -hmm. whenever Nate puts mm -hmm. a magnet back. <laughs> Magic tricks. Using yeah. Gorilla Glue. Um, Beowulf USMC says, maybe the wide base minis fall over. Mini placement is difficult, which is valid. You can put them on the ramp. You can put them on the floor. Ooh. That's a big boy. And this is a 32 millimeter base, right? You put a... Put Gygax or Rabbit in here. Like. Oh my no, god. Are... Finley Shards has used the burrows for the intestines of a desiccated titan. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's cool. That's awesome. That's my favorite use case to date. 
Art Turtle says, why kill your players in a burrow when you can just bury them alive? <laughs> hey, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, you can just buy some dirt and bury the minis, right? A metal and magic suggests an on the anvil drinking game. We oh, have no. joked about this uh, with build of the month, providing like a prompt to like drink every time Nate goes. Where so? Like, mm. <laughs> so that would be uh, you'd get pretty drunk pretty quick. Pretty drunk. Pretty, so pretty, pretty drunk. Returning to my flirting. Yeah, yeah. Let's get back to it. let's get to the important issues here. Let's uh the let's, yeah. the, the important issues of this pandemic are how is Selena getting her flirt on? Yeah. Like Selena, you can't go to the house of yes. <laughs> Where are you getting your attention from? And this is it. Inquiring um, minds. So so conversation, conversation, conversation. And I said my cards are not all out, are all on the table. And um, she says, I doubt that there. She's like, I doubt that's all there is to know about you. Oh. And I said, Yeah, roll an insight check. And she, 17, what are you going to tell me? I'm also going to persuade you to tell me. And I got a 15. Uh, and so. Do you I think she actually. You can tell. Do you think she actually rolled? I think she did. Yeah. Because 17 is like the specific, like she didn't go nat 20 if you were just doing it right. Like it was. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Keep going. Yeah. With a 17, you can tell that there are a few more cards up the sleeves. And with a 15, you persuaded me to tell you that they're all good things. Ah. And or that's, uh, then, or uh, are they? From there. Insight, are you lying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> another insight check. Everyone drop your favorite D&D &D pickup line in the chat. Or Wargaming, your favorite your favorite game Gaming. pickup line. Like, is that a revolver in your pocket, or are you just in the billiards room? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Amazed. Listen, Mace is the funny one. <laughs> no, that's funny. It's, uh, it's, it's my kind of bizarre. I like it. Uh, Ryan Noir would like to know what options do you offer for connecting the burrows to other tiles? We have this uh, this cool dungeon wall that has a hole in it that is uh, fantastic to get into dungeons. Oh, what's this? we have a uh this is a floor it's it can kind of work with anything it's supposed to be dungeon floor but you can't tell because it's all covered with dirt so it could be anything it's a two by two floor you can put anywhere and drop your burrow straight into there you could put your uh, where did it go we have the uh the forest where is the, the cave mouth entrance oh i don't no, not that one's good. Well, you could um you could also we have a uh there's a wall from KS two that's a caverns or dungeon wall that has a hole in it. There's a KS two wall that has a caverns wall that has a hole in it. There's a there's a KS six, there's the caverns deep arch, low arch entrance that you could use to get to the burrows. Um we have I wonder where's the there's the the uh the forest um, it's the cave mouth entrance piece. I have three over there, but they're buried. I don't know if you, see, my kids put like every miniature I have on this build. It's like a just, <laughs> just bedlam. It is. It's like it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's buried under there. But um, you could use that cave entrance piece. There's gonna be some stuff in Wildlands you could use. Um, I don't know. Put it out in the chat. What other ways you could get into the burrows? Um, if Finley says maybe a water train tile with all those cave holes in the floor be an underwater tunnel oh. system or just pools of varying depths that would be cool for sure oh no is that gonna fit yeah you could if you want what um, so back to pickup lines oh oh yeah yeah let's get to the important issues here <laughs> uh denth eight comes at us with a kind of obvious one but you know uh he says do you want me to lay hands on you <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, which is convenient if you guys haven't watched our gen con game from 2018 um there's a really nice moment where um matt mercer who plays a paladin uh he <laughs> we made a matt mercer mini uh and so he lays hands on the um on uh, himself on the mat in the game 
Uh, Matt lays hands on Matt, and so Liam O'Brien comes with the... Um, <laughs> This isn't the first time Matt lays hands on himself, and the crowd went wild. It was true. You can still watch that on the Gen Con channel. Uh, Brad Burton says you don't need pickup lines in the burrows. Mm. The um, you know, the other thing about the lay on hands is it cures diseases too. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, you know. Our turtle says, "Hey." Are you emotionally traumatized by the murder of your family? Well, so am I. <laughs> the last of my tribe. <laughs> Just trying to find my way out here. Let's see. Let's go. Um, Finley Shard says, we're not good at pickup lines. Barbarian walks up to an alchemist. You dropped <laughs> bottle with fire moving towards it on little string. Here, have back. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't, so you dropped your light. I don't know. Uh-huh. All right, so here's a question for the uh, for the peanut gallery. Where should we go? Um, maybe there's not enough branches, right? So I've I've got two two main branches. So the idea is they're going to come in somewhere over here, All right? It's here, here, um, and then we have two different ways to get down here. This is going to be. I was thinking this could be a pit. Like they could just put just something terrible in there, right? And they just throw like this is like. Maybe it's the refuse pit, or it's like you throw rock grubs. I don't know. It could just be the torture hole. You just drop people down, and there's a thousand rats in there or some terrible something. I don't know. Or it could be a way down, maybe. Um, so we've got two ways down here, which then converge here, and then two more ways. There are three ways down from here. Boom, boom, boom. Where should we make it more? They still have a bunch of decent stuff. So we could do. We could build out this upper level more, and maybe maybe they enter over here. And then we, we put another terrain tree up here, and they have, like, a this is kind of a more complex area to work their way around, and then they start working their way down. Yeah, because I still have a whole bunch of these, a uh, bunch of dead ends. A bunch of, I have three more ramps. What do I have? Two more ramps. Um, so maybe we could do even one more. Maybe we go straight down. Hmm. Is it too easy? It's too easy if they go all the way straight down. So maybe we, maybe we drop another way into here. I can also do the thing where you know we could have a we could have a tunnel up above. We could do a cross. Right, we haven't done any of the crisscross things where like this apple goes sauce. over. That's the it's the new way to sit. There's so, there's not enough applesauce in this build. I do love me some applesauce. It's so good. Right? It's like it's it's yeah. It's apples without the skin. <laughs> what? <else? laughs> you know what they say. I don't. <laughs> Applesauce is just apples without the skin. Yeah, that's uh, it's poetry right there. Uh, Death Aid says, "Go down and build a chasm that is covered in webs." Mmm, I do have a bunch of webs. Mm. <laughs> Finley Shard says, "Have a separate section that they start with, and they have to lower it down on a rope to the race section you currently have, where the goblins are waiting." Ooh, so then they can't get back out. I like lowering down. That's brutal. How do the goblins get in and out though? If you have to lower down, right? Because they're they're lazy. They're like they're like a lazy swarm. Like, what are they? How are they getting in and out? Do we get really mean and have? What if we have a lower? What if this goes down, and there's another lower section that doesn't go to the main section? So it's like a whole. Let's do that. Finley says goblins have spiders. That's uh, true. And Denth28 suggests that they have secret tunnels. Yes. Well, they, they also, they, like, you don't necessarily have a spider for every, like, every goblin that wants to come and go doesn't necessarily have a spider, <laughs> right? Or they just have, like, a, they have, like, a spider express at the, uh, way in there. but. Well, every, every nuclear family should have a spider for their goblin. You know, it's um it's a mom, dad, son, daughter, and a dog, but it's like goblin mom, goblin dad, goblin son, goblin daughter, pet spider. Oh. I was trying to avoid um goblin children because like they're gonna blow they're gonna nuke this thing up, right? So like Oh yeah. You don't wanna you don't want them to just like They're gonna nuke the nuclear family. Yeah. Like I I don't know, I feel like it's you don't wanna have them just like nuke a, a family of children like so yeah was, that's bad yeah yeah so i was Robert like Burner says spider trains cause havoc and art turtle says suggest a spider elevator spider <laughs> elevator but it's just like re reeling it's uh 
It's it's just one spider going up and down. Uh, guys, you're killing me. Well, how is this a good question for the chat? How do we make them not feel bad about like just blowing up the entire Goblin Warren? Like, are there you know, are there? Let's go back to triple. Finley Shard says, "I like the idea of separate section. You could use the gimmick of them having moved warding slash ritual stones that need to be acquired before the main thing can be destroyed." Wait, wait, repeat that. Um. You could use the gimmick of ha them having moved warding slash ritual stones that need to be acquired before the main thing can be destroyed. So having different sections would help with that. With murdering goblin families? Uh, no, what was I'm it helping sure. with? <laughs> You're talking about a separate section before. You're like, maybe I'll have a separate oh, section. Yeah, I think yeah, he was following up with that. Got it, got it, got it. Maybe I'll have this loop back around... Ooh, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, no, I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to like figure out reconcile like having them like wholesale just blow up the entire Warren. Right? They're gonna. They're just gonna absolutely level this thing. Uh, Alpha Paladin just dropped in the chat, and he missed the beginning, and was like, to know if it's just one big Bros account or if there are add-on packs, I'm going to drop the sets we're using back in the Boom. chat. We have two um, add-on packs in addition to the full Burrows encounter. Yes. So it's it's a Cree colony, which is the full Burrows, plus the stilts, plus the elevation. Um... Title entrance on lower level that the players have to find to get out. Oh, wait, what? Is, what? What? Uh, Draconis Lupus One suggests the title entrance on the lower level that the players have to find to get back out. Well, they're gonna. I was gonna have them teleport out uh, because. So it. So, you love teleporting. Well, you know what it is. We have there's the the stream. There's only so much time on the stream, and this is act. This is act one, right? Like this is not even. This is. I want. Oh. Yeah, I want to do three scenes, right? So it's this. This is the. This is the intro. Like kick the door off this thing to like get them riled up. Then the second the second scene is going to be sort of a big role play scene, and then the third scene is going to be another uh, potential combat thing, whatever. So like I want to, I don't want to have them have to trek in, trek out, or like I want it to be like drop in, go hit your thing, and boom, get the heck out of there because then we can just we can keep moving to the next thing. Like I want I want them to cover the ground of two streams in one. That's like that's my my goal is to like hit, like have it just be like head spinning when you get done they're like oh my god i can't believe we like we did all of that so to that Jackie 73 says when playing how much oh. of the map will the players see uh it depends on their choices right but conceptually a lot of it you're gonna fly in as they discover it yeah so i'm gonna sort of do layers like right we'll do each level as they get there that's the idea of sort of building on these uh building on the terrain trays Tiers, oh but... wow you couldn't see in the overhead the oh. three tiers but you now see... that you're back in the close-up it's it's real obvious you're good now yeah well i will do a little walk through with this thing when we uh get there. oh i need to move what am i doing i'm gonna move this this way an inch i right, got a plan um yeah i want them to uh i want to have uh oh man is that gonna work yeah what if Finley Shard says, what if the goblins are the forward forces of a dragon buried deep below? And if the goblins are not destroyed, the dragon can get out. If they don't kill the goblins, the dragon will get out and destroy the city. Right. So if 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 they don't destroy, like it's it's not like, hey, we just want to go in and murder a bunch of goblin babies. It's, hey, we have to do this or all civilization as we know it, it's going to get wiped out kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good... Uh... It's a good way to reconcile. Art Turtle says the burrows are in between a bunch of towns, and the party has to destroy this nest of goblins before the burrow under all the towns destroy them from underneath. Wait, repeat that. The burrows are in between a bunch of towns, and the party has to destroy this nest of goblins before the burrow under all the towns oh. destroys them from underneath. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it's the same, right? So the, it's the it's the destruction thing, right? Like if if these goblins aren't destroyed, they're going to destroy everything that you know and love and hold dear, right? Which yeah. is a good. Uh, that seems like it's a good motivator, right? 
just the general raw destruction. Orion Noir would really like to know if we have any plans to make a 2x2 two two and 2x4 two terrain tray. Mm, what, a 2x2 two two seems like it would be too small to do anything with, right? Like, it's literally just a tile. What would the... Uh, sell? you got to sell me on the 2x2. Two two. What's the... Uh, What's the purpose of the two by two? And the what was the other one? A four by four? Yeah. Two by four. Oh, two by four? What would the two by four they both seem very small. Yeah, these are made for like big elevation. Like you're moving yeah, up Yeah, are moving like a whole room or something. Rooms and more six by sixes I can see. Like I love the uh six by six is very is a really good size. I I'd love to make some of these actually in six by um, the other size that would be really good, I feel like a, maybe a, oh, we already did four by eight. I don't know, six by 12 might be interesting, a half, half size mm. or something. Hmm, why is this not lining up? What am I missing? Oh, yeah, there you go. Now this guy needs his thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm out of. One buys. Am I? No, I got one here. When I first started working at Dwarven Forge, I really liked building with the burrows. Well, you know what it is? It feels like they're, because it's organic, it's kind of free. Like, there's not, like, it feels like there's, with, there's a right and a wrong with dungeons or something. Not that there's, but you know what I mean? Like, you, you kind of have to, like, these are kind of just sort of, I don't know, you just lay them out and you just kind of go and it's like a little more loose. You no, know, it feels like it's a uh... computer just decided. No, I'm not gonna do that. Eh. Oh, Who man. needs them? We need them. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, thanks everyone for staying tuned in. Uh, that was fun. That was. But you guys kept dropping your suggestions in the chat, which was very thoughtful of you. Yeah, we have a very uh, suggestive group, as it were. Yeah, so some of these great suggestions. Uh, the players must stop the goblins before they reach the internet cable and destroy the internet. <laughs> Too late! <laughs> they got us! We should have killed them first. So, as we cut out, I believe uh, I was just about to get into the suggestion from DMN Games. Yeah, what's... The goblins have recently found themselves a new home. Unfortunately, their home is one of the sites where heroes had sealed a demon gateway. Due to their habits, they've opened up the gateway, and they're being pushed to madness. Quickly rush in and blow the portal, stealing it once more. Huh. And that could tie into Hellscape real good uh, later on when people have that. Yeah. Well, what I like... Um, so it's all it all kind of hits the same theme of, like, destroy the goblins before they destroy you right so it seems like that's the that's the the thing to lean on is like we gotta we gotta kill those goblins what that's loud i wonder why my computer's so angry all right let's look at where do we go here i've got i could put this here hmm all right, well, let's... Finley Shards made another suggestion with goblin children, but we're not doing kids, Finley. Cut it out. <laughs> well, it was how to not, like, think, you know, how to not be murdering goblin children was the, uh, how not to murder. Or, you know, or why you wouldn't feel so terrible for just, like, killing all the Oh, guys. it was Odin, not get Finley. I'm so sorry. Your names are next to each other. And my brain is broken. <laughs> so, Finlay, you're cool. Odin, you cut it out. <laughs> Odin's a sweetheart. Just because oh, yes, he likes to, ben. just because he likes to kill goblin children. <laughs> Odin and I are from the same hometown. Really? He might not know that. <laughs> well, he does now. Does now. All right. So, all right. Let's. Uh, so we got a, we got a few pieces here. Let's I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna walk through. I'm gonna walk through this thing. Uh, we'll show you pieces we have left and figure out where we should, where we should tweak this thing. Um, it's so far, it's not. Well, I don't know. Let's let's walk through it. 
All right, so I'm gonna. This is gonna be, it's gonna be wild. I'm gonna try and gonna go handheld here. See where, see what happens. Single cam club. Boom, boom, boom. Still have people are having connection issues. What do you mean? Um, but other people aren't. So I think it's just a person by person basis that they can reconnect. Is it us? I don't think so because other people can see. I'm suggesting people try closing out the browser. Alright. All right. While you do this, I'm going to step away real quick. Step away. Alright, so before we start, these are the pieces that we have left. We have some, we have one. So we have a couple of straight passages, a couple of T passages, three, four curves, a lot of little curves. We could do a little twisty turny thing, a uh, couple of ones, two different end caps, and a stilt. All right, so that's what we still have in the bucket. Plus we have all these different inserts, eggs and fillers and webs and spike traps which we gotta put in, uh, and we have these uh, transition bits and a couple of Cree. So here's what we currently have. So I've theoretically they're entering here and we come in and we've got, this is a kind of the, the pit, either it's like the goblin latrine or I don't know, they just put terrible, they put people down there if they want to throw them to the rats or whatever it is. Could be, you know, like a cool pit of rats, I guess, forever. Um, this is like a little chamber, which we can go out a couple of ways this way. Cause then we'll go in a sec. This one comes over here and has another sort of lower area. Uh, and then this circles back up to here. So that kind of might little loop around. And then both of these feed us down to this area, which then has three different ways, bump, bump, and bump, to get us down to our final area down here. So the question is, where should we add, where should we add more choices like it's not like where do we make it a more deadly and more interesting for everybody i'm thinking let's see from here they've got one they've got three choices from here then they think they're going down i don't know well what, i'm back and so are lots of people in the chat just Woo! had to close that browser and reopen all right so the question for the chat is, what do we, we, we build out, we've got these pieces left down here, and then we have, this is the kind of the build as it stands with low, layer one, they come in over here, there's a lower level down there, and then this, uh, this second lower level. Draconis. Lupus one asks if you have any more ramps. No, we do not. We've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ramps. But Draconis Lucas Lupus, <laughs> if you have, we could do, we could turn this into a drop instead of a ramp, um, and then that that would free up one more ramp. So we could have one more. What do you have in mind? Let me go put this back on the. Alpha Stream One, which is Teos, hey, right? Hey, yeah. What's up, Teos? Uh, he suggests looping back over the zones with some height. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh. Also, a good idea is getting the camera back on the tripod correctly. That would be yeah, don't, an idea. Don't tell Sam. <laughs> Yeah. Don't tell the video wizard. <laughs> don't tell. It's like don't wake daddy. It's yeah. Don't don't tell Selena. <laughs> don't wake daddy. Have you played that game? No. I think that might have been a my really thing. I don't know if it pre predated me. That was a game you could play. You there you like put a timer on and you had to like go through um, a bunch of little traps and if um and if like a trap went off then it woke up daddy and you got in trouble. <laughs> Uh, Morple Thad says ramp to a dead end with a trap in it. Mm, yeah, for setup for uh, for intruders, right? Like kind of an obvious. Let's do like an obvious 
a thing that would look like the place you would you would go that would have a would have a trap in it. Finlay says, getting. have the straight pieces as goblin murder holes on stilts over areas yeah. of the map. They're not full corridors, just dug out areas for hiding in. You know what we could do? More murder holes? Keep saying murder holes. That's like, yeah. Murder <laughs> holes! We could, we could transplant this whole section over... Have it be a layer cake. A layer cake of murder holes. Yeah, so I could steal... So right now I've got double stilts under here because it's two layers high. But if I stacked this over this, I could... That frees up another... That frees up four stilts, which would then let us do something else. Should we do it? Let's just... Uh, let's see what happens. Let's do it. Nia Foya says vertical makes it seem more interesting. Yeah, let's do it. So we're not. It's not crazy enough. We gotta get. We gotta push the envelope. We're clearing it's out. It's not the, crazy. Uh, no, we're clearing out the. Time to uh, get crazy. That's what I'm saying. All right. So if this is gonna come up. Hmm. You know, it's gonna be even harder to do it in live play at that point. But we'll uh, we'll get there. You can adjust later. Yeah. This isn't the live one anyway. So. Mostly we're just trying to find fun gags to do by these things, right? So okay, so that's hmm. Hmm. And then Hmm. Ooh, we have sixty nine subscribers. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> nice. Put it on That's all. Put it on hitch. Hinge? Hitch? What is it? Hitch. Hinge. Hinge. Do I dare ask why it's called Hinge? I don't know. They have really good marketing, though. I follow them on Instagram just because I really like their memes. Of Metal and Magic, because nice. So. <laughs> okay, let's back this up. If we're going to go, let's make this more interesting, right? Because this is, so right now... So we're working backwards. So if they if they get down here and they've got a hold, oh, you can't see that. So if we have, if this is the, it's still cut off. What's going on here? I can't, I can't frame a shot. There we go. Oh, I see the. Uh, it's not locked. Ah. Uh -huh. Rookie mistake. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So if we've got this is the if this is the final area they're going to go to, and then there's three ways in. Although it's really, I guess it's only two ways in, but at least they have to watch two different entrances. Maybe it's more exciting if we put a fourth. Maybe there's a fourth way in, right? It's too easy if it's only two ways in. So let's put a f let's put another way in so that there's like potentially they're, they're kind of fighting back to back with the you know goblins coming in from four different ways. So let's start with that. I'm gonna pop this thing off and have them come in. Death twenty eight says you could do a pit trap hashtag murder hole Woo! that leads to a pit filled with gibbering mouthers or ravenous rats that eat the flesh of whatever falls in. Man, you getting you... a gibbering mouther in here would be nasty. Yeah. And, and like the sick nasty. <laughs> well. It, he had like he had probably kind of like every word I love in that whole that set. read that sentence again. It was like it was murder hole, <clears throat> gibbering mouthers, like flaying flesh or something. It was like it was amazing. You could do a pit trap hashtag murder hole that leads to a pit filled with gibbering mouthers or ravenous rats that eat the flesh of whatever falls in. All right, so we had we had trap flesh ravenous <laughs> gibbering mouthers. Uh, really, that's like the Nate Taylor Mad Libs uh, yeah. counter builder. <laughs> it's totally. Uh, all right, let's go over here. Let's get this. Oh, let me see if that works. Get close to here. All right. Finley Shard says, remove a floor insert and have it as a cave the goblins are climbing up from. Yeah. Up is good, right? We need some more vertical. Vertical, vertical. And Vorpal Thad said a very helpful thing. Something cool should be in there. <laughs> Thanks, Thad. We, uh, yeah, yeah, 
That's we aim for uh, cool. <laughs> here, here. You know, we just connected Vorpal Board and Dungeon Dudes this week. Hopefully, Thad got to talk to great Monster guys. today. Across the boards, it's a double whammy of greatness. Like, how do you go wrong? Uh, Vorpal Thad elaborates that the message above was, um, <laughs> that's what the something cool was referencing, but I just liked it out of context better. <laughs> Uh, he says, we just razz in Had the gibbering mouther come out of that room under the terrain tile next to the main room, and then something cool should be in there. I don't, I'm lost, but I'm I'm into all of those words. <laughs> what, which room, where, who's on first? What's going on? I think that the area you're in right now. Over here? Um, sorry, you're on a delay. I'm. <laughs> oh, right. I'm, uh,. Anywhere. Anywhere. Sold. Darger, D A R J R, a uh, pool of rot grubs. Oh yes, we got that too. We got all these things. We got all the all the DF greatest hits. Demon game says a bunch of goblins at the bottom of the hole with sharp sticks and swords. It's true, you know. Menacing towers of goblins. If you just get enough goblins in one place, it doesn't matter if they just have sharp sticks. Like, they're going to, you know, it's bad news. They're just awful. Yeah. I hate goblins. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the, right, that's the, that's what you should feel, right? When someone says goblins, you should say, ugh, I hate goblins. That's the, uh, that's the response we're looking for. I'm trying to work. What do you, which class do you think is the best equipped to handle a goblin? Uh, a goblin or like just a, a endless barrage of goblins? Like is there, is there a class that has like a bonus action find, like a bonus action perception check? That way on your like attack action you can actually hit them? That is a good question. Um... That'd be a cool class feature if it's not one already. Perception as a bonus action would be great. You know, if you have like a bunch Somebody... of oil, just throw it over him or whatever. Well, you know what? You know what? I uh, nothing like a fireball to just like clear out. You don't need to see him if you just yeah firebomb the area. Yeah, fire seems to be the chat consensus. Yeah, just like spray. So that's what, wizard. Any... Warlock does warlock have fireball? No, sorcerer definitely does. Uh, what have we got on there? Uh, maybe we can put that up. Bird, baby, bird. Do -do -do. Ranger for a favorite enemy goblin. So you throw Ooh. a hunter's mark on someone. Yeah. But that's only one. I guess you can yeah. keep switching it, though, each time you kill one. Yeah, put it on the boss, perhaps. For the biggest, feistiest. Yeah, but the goblin boss isn't that bad, bad of a threat um, because they don't have the short bow. Like, strangely enough, they, they've got a couple more hit points and they can throw the other goblins in the way, but they don't, they're not, like, they're not the threat. Really, it's the just the endless swarm of other goblins that's the, uh, that's the real threat. Yes. Yes. I, uh, my <clears throat> my screen was frozen on this really great still of you and Build of the Month, uh, and I'm going to drop it in the Slack. <laughs> oh, boy. Nate's stills are the thing that keeps me going. There's some, uh, turns out I have, I make funny, uh, funny face expression faces. Hmm. What do I want to do with this thing? Oh. Do this here. So I'm fiddling with, I'm trying to get this, maybe I'll do it over here. I'm trying to get this thing to be interesting, this drop down, this drop down here, and maybe. I 
Pele underscore FR says, what's better than sorcerer casting fireball? Two sorcerers casting <laughs> fireball. You know and what? Finley says, if the players are throwing around too many fireballs, have a cave fall trapping them yeah. in the, with limited air. That's that's just mean. <laughs> <laughs> Finley is merciless. He's like too clever. You know what? Uh, they uh, hamsters carry sorcerer has, which I think hoping is going to be really fun and useful. Has um, chaos bolt and twinned spell. So he could he can double cast Chaos Bolt, and if it if he rolls double eights with it, it jumps to the next target. So he potentially could like he, if he's if he's double casting it a bunch, the chances of it procking and doing that second thing, you know, hit or nice, and it's just gonna just start wiping out goblins, which is could be fun. I mean, that's a whole this whole this whole encounter is basically designed um, to just let the casters have fun blowing off all their spells on uh because it's like they have an enormous amount everybody is they got four casters and a monk and then and meanwhile <laughs> chug is just going to be like just in there just wailing every goblin and say bap, 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 bap. it's gonna be uh yep. hopefully it's just gonna be an absolute murder thon of uh adult goblins hmm hmm you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna knock this whole thing this way you must be a rebel drowl because you are causing a stir in my underdark <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that was a, a courtesy of death 28 <laughs> <laughs> my underdark that's amazing that's, good. that's really good that's rich that's real good <laughs> give that guy a raise mm -hmm. Hire that guy. <laughs> All right. Xander, Xander, okay. Xander Coles <laughs> says Murderthon, and that just made me think of Toyota Murderthon. <laughs> this month, it's the Murderthon. Come on down to your. Rest her Toyota. <laughs> come down to your Willer Forge Toyota and get the, join the Murderthon all month long. All right, so now we'll figure out where this goes from here, but... I still have the problem of this is... You know what? All right, so I still have this... Can we see in this thing? Uh, right here yeah. is a... Oh, I've got a monitor here. Um, <laughs> I've got one bottleneck to hold everything, so I'm going to make this... I'm going to have this connect up here and have this all connect so that there's this whole second level can um there's there's at least two different main ways to get down to this final thing which also is more interesting for the players there's a couple of ways for them to find their way down um all right so Oh, plus we want to have a gag where it goes over, right? We want to, hmm, we want a straight, hmm. yeah. We want to have, you know, we have something where the goblins go up and over and can murderlate from above again. Murderlate. <laughs> murderlate. It's a good, uh, it's a real word, says me. Um. Neofoya demands more spots the goblins can attack the players. Okay, we're working on it. Sorry, my lord. Yeah. <laughs> yes, my lord. We're, we're working in real time here, sir. Yeah. Hmm, those are too close to each other. If I... Quick, everyone post in the chat something you want me to say out loud. <laughs> Speak on demand. <laughs> Does that work? Um, we'll I don't know. I've just opened it up to my my. I've given them my will. Finley Shard says every floor insert is potentially a goblin hidey hole. Yes, yes. They burst out of the ground. 
A medal of magic says the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> yeah, I love. Well, um, are you my mom? Something out loud. Uh, did you want you to mom? add in a room that is their water source? The walls drip with water coming from the lake above. If they blow up the wrong room, a new timer to get out. Hmm. The the flooding is a fun. Uh, it's a fun gag. That one's come up a couple times now, right? All right, so if I got this, maybe a dead I've one. got a bad feeling about this. Uh? So the burrows were your idea, correct? During Dungeon of um, Doom, you were like, you know what, we need burrows. No, no. Stefan really wanted to do something different um, and was uh, we were just kind of riffing on he was like well what about those things that we're making in caverns that look kind of like dirt holes that you know this mm. early uh, KS2 thing so I was like alright well, I mean, let's play and then uh, I, you know I made, made these on a bunch of full size graphics a particularly gruesome murder. Uh, Rabbit Burner's request for me to say out loud in a Span Scottish accent. A particularly gruesome murder. 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 This, the, these things were the precursors to the burrows. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I engineered out some burrows crazy light. crazy geometry for it, and uh, off we went. And then uh, it never, never hit. Never hit prime time Ooh. quite as we wanted it to. Okay. Extra fun. Do the current waterfall pieces fit in the burrows to represent the water flow coming through? The current waterfall pieces? Which? The one you've been working on. Oh, I, you know, I don't know. That's a very good, uh, probably not. It's probably too wide. But, ooh, I like how that's thinking. The brain thoughts on that one. All right, so I got another way up. We got three four ways down here so that's that's really going to keep them keep things lively so they're gonna get, they're gonna have to basically hold this this area for uh for a while as the the onslaught is coming from four sides so i guess it's technically it's three sides right boom 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 boom, boom. all right boom, so boom, now, boom, boom, boom. now we need a uh we need a thing here and we need a uh a droppy down, um, droppy downy. A droppy downy, right? Like DJ Droppy Downy. Yeah. <laughs> Finley says, "Was thinking the current pieces rather than the newer ones. If they don't stand up, you could lay them over the top of the burrows to represent where the floodwaters are." So was was that caverns where you had those, um, the cotton ball waterfall? Yes, original caverns. Got it. Uh, yeah, we could take a gander. I've got one of those right here, like this. Ooh. You know, the challenge with that is like the bottom level floods first, and they're down on the bottom level. It'll be really. Mm. Uh, ooh, I love the the flood. The flood just gets lively. That is. Uh, stakes are stakes are high when you're uh, everybody's just gonna die. <laughs> like you know, you can't even fight water. Right, like it's just not no. even like you know, water just like is a faceless killer. It doesn't care. You can't firebolt water. No, right? All the fireballs in the world aren't gonna save you. No, no water. Uh, water's a great equalizer. Hmm. 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 So if we do one more. Finley says, that's why they need to teleport out. And you know, yeah. says, unless you have water breathing. True. Or the uh, cloak of the manta ray, or, I don't know. Yeah, there's lots of, there's lots of fun hacks, but, like, fundamentally, like, water is just going to murder you. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's really, uh, water doesn't care. Warple fed suggests that yeah. maybe they can use water to flood out the goblins. Yes, yes. We did that in one of my home games. We had a one of the flasks of like um endless De water or whatever it's called. Of endless water. And we 
Yeah, we had to go downstairs, and so the minions um, had to, like, work against the water, and some nice. of them did not. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that that thing is... The decanter in this water is just dynamite. That thing is... Uh, there are a lot of fun things you can do with that thing. Yeah, Hello, Fur says, wasn't it a snickering from below? Nope, it was from behind. I heard it from above. Aw, poop. <laughs> That's uh, that's what that's what they should be saying while they're in here. The whole time. Ah, okay. poop. Well, that was the snickering part, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go with what you want. Ah, <laughs> poop. Uh, hmm, this is all coming to. Stonewall or control water can buy them time. Ooh. Says Toodaloo. Yeah. Well, there's suddenly there's lots of, right? There can be, like, I love when people start ha having to creatively use their spells to try and buy themselves, not death. Um, always... Do you, as a DM, do you ever, like, the players are stalled? They're like, I cannot think of a single way out of this. Like, how do you help your players in that instance? Or do you just let them flounder and die? No, you give them a, you give them a suggestion if they're, like, if they're, uh, you know, like you, you that nobody wins if the game just grinds to a halt, right? You want to like mm -hmm. keep the keep things lively. My, uh, I was playing this weekend with uh, with Grayson and my niece and nephew and my brother, and uh, he used uh, he's a air ganasi and used a um, uh, his levitate spell in a really clever there was a they they were second level and it was a massive land shark um coming at them that was just like way out class like they were trying to work on it he levitated the thing up and it had a chain on it uh because it was chained up but they they they'd sort of messed up and it broke the chain and it was like coming at them so he levitated the thing up and then used the chain and pulled it around like a balloon and like basically, because it has no, it has no friction. There's no, except for some wind resistance. Whatever. So then he basically hauled the thing out of the, uh, out of the dungeon and like let it go as fast and just sort of whew, until it was out of state and then ran back in. And it was just like a well, dang. Yeah, it was perfect. You know, as a physicist, he was like, ah, well, I clearly I can once this thing is levitated, I can, uh, you know, he, was, he explained to me the physics of manipulating around a giant, a land shark on a chain. I'm like, I'll buy that. Yeah. <laughs> It was awesome. It was like the perfect, uh, perfect great use of. Darger says, "Put gillweed in the bottom layers, or an eel that they have to grapple and hold around their head in order to breathe underwater." Ooh. Everybody wants to not have people drown. It's very noble. <laughs> All right, so I'm liking. Where do we go? Where do we go from here? What do we got? I'm thinking I have what do I have? One, two. I have. Oh, I have a lot of stilts. So maybe I can do a weird hybrid. Hmm. Gosh. <laughs> yep. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Quick time check. We're at three forty. All right, so let's see what we can do in 20 minutes. Maybe. Maybe they come in over here. Is that visible? I'm not. I'm totally off. The, oh, no. I'm sort of in the field. Hmm. You're in the overhead. Yeah, and I'll switch to it in a sec. Thinking maybe they come. Like, So we want to do, we want to do some sort of cool drop-down gag, right, with the, uh, probably with the straight tunnel crossing... Maybe we have this here for just that gig. So let's, let's set this up for that gig. Let's do... Let's do this. Odin Forge says, RP idea. Goblins are in a territorial conflict with a Remethaz. The, the players... Oh, oh, I lost it. Where is it? Okay. The players must team up with the goblins to defeat the bigger threat. How... Remor has. Or Remor yeah. has. Crazy hot ice worm kill use. 
What a, how annoying would that be for your, your character in particular, Selena? Having to work with goblins. Um, having to work with goblins. You'd be so upset. <laughs> Remember she's saying you just can't stand goblins. Would did I really say that? <laughs> oh yeah. me, like me. Yeah. Selena. You, I'm Selena. over goblins. You and goblins. That's it. We broken. don't vibe. You've broken up. You tried it. It just wasn't. Uh, goblins weren't for you. No. Robert Burner suggests skip the jury to call in the water rabbit tribe to swim them the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> the water rabbit tribe. What's uh, Can you tell us more about the water rabbit tribe? Yes, Robert Burner, please elaborate. <laughs> I've never heard of these water rabbits. Is that just a rat? What's a water rabbit? I think that's... <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a euphemism? It's like a, an otter. It's just a water rabbit. Oh, that'd be cute. They'll just hold hands with everyone. We had a uh, we had a cat named Otter, um, because That's when he great. was great, it's a great cat name. When he was a kitten, he looked. He was like you know when he was just born. He's like, you know, our, our mama kitty gave birth to kittens all over my dad's dress shirts. Um, he had like oh. one. My dad had one dress shirt, and it was like neatly in the thing, and it was this nice little. It was like a, uh, I don't know, it was like an orange, old orange crate or something that had this shirt, and it was like the perfect hidden spot for the for the cat to give birth in. Anyway, wow, the, yeah, um, the uh, the you know they were born like for whatever reason Otter was like the last one to open her eyes, so um, we named her Otter because she was like just constantly kind of like I don't know if you've seen kittens like a day out, they're just they they're tiny yeah. little tiny little things that are moving around, and they look like an otter swimming around thus oh god otter fresh kittens is just yeah how are your uh how are your fresh kittens holding up how's that <laughs> how's that They're... going they are very good very good girls i bought the i got them three new toys this weekend <laughs> i got them a, a, a chill like a tunnel like a collapsible tunnel oh, that you usually get for like children uh-huh. but i got one for cats <laughs> yep i've had it's great great yeah. investment <laughs> I got some feathers for them. Well, I got the the toys with the ball that goes in a circle. They're crazy about that one. Everything's a good investment when it comes to kittens because you're just trying to have them like just stop like shredding you and you know like they're they kittens are relentless. They're they're chilling out, which makes me sad. <laughs> yeah. And they're getting bigger. They're like noticeably bigger. But it's just like I'm just this small. You could physically watch them grow. It's like yeah. yeah. They're they're becoming more polite too. Like Aww. they they really they listen to me. It's great. <laughs> like I just go hey, and they stop what they're Hurt. doing and they're like, I wasn't doing anything. It was him. Her. I don't know what you're talking about. It's what's strange is that a lot of people wished me a happy Mother's Day yesterday. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> like two uh, two girls on Hinge wished me a happy Mother's Day because I had cats in my profile. <laughs> that was the icebreaker. <laughs> amazing <laughs> and true it's very it's it's very gay like that's a very gay thing to do all right Brenner says how dare you they're not vermin he's upset that you have cats not not rabbits i think we we're talking about you know calling them rats <laughs> his army of water rabbits oh yeah water rabbits which are just muskrats or something i'm pretty sure he can rebrand them, but they're still. Uh... Demon Games coming at us with the RP. The play. Oh, chat moved up. Okay. The players come across an area with few goblin tracks and are seemingly unused. The players mm. have tracked a goblin here. The players come across a room filled with crystals. Nothing happens until they're right beside the crystals. Wisdom oh. saver be faced with the many facets of their personalities, forever lost to argue with themselves. Ooh. What does that have to do with goblins? I thought that each I thought each of their facets was gonna break out as like a different colored goblin or something, and then they oh. have to deal with like you goblinized versions of your own personalities, which would be bonkers. That's my nightmare. Right? I can't be faced with myself. I'm a monster. Goblinized versions of your personalities, that would be Finley Shards is coming at us with the stories about his dog. 
We had a young greyhound we called Spider, as he was jet black and had no coordination, so it would try and run on our wooden floor and legs would go everywhere, even when the dog didn't. <laughs> Looked like he had eight legs. That's hilarious. That's so cute! And it, I've seen the dogs do that, and it's, it's the best. Any animal, cats do that, the, the, like the running in place cartoon thing, it's like, it's hilarious. Your kittens do that. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite is when they they run at each other from opposite sides of the room, and they jump in the air, and then, like, get each other, and then, like, they fall and tumble. That's just... Because they're all legs right now. They they have tiny bodies, but enormous legs. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Finlay says, the players discover there's only one goblin initially. Everything else is a mirror image, which oh. get destroyed really easily which this goblin can cast a lot. Once the players get complacent, the players find out the rest of the tribe. They find the rest of the tribe. I can't read. Thanks. Rabbit Burner says, water rabbits are stranded rabbits that migrated hundreds <laughs> of years ago that had flooding issues, and over time, they evolved highly efficient lungs and webbed feet. They have the best water crest this side of Valoria. Water crest. Rabbits with webbed feet kind of freaks me out. That's gross. Honest. Right? Webbed like... feet are weird in general. Don't trust it. Well, can you imagine if ducks had toes? Ugh. Let's take That's... a second. No, no, no. Back that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Eliminate that thought. That is... <laughs> That's out. Wait. I'm going to go on Photoshop real quick. No. Uh... <laughs> no. Ducks. I'll post the picture on our Instagram story. <laughs> gross. <laughs> oh this is gonna be bad this is gonna be in the build of the month this is what you guys gotta tune in for ducks with feet in uh last month's build of the month i photoshopped a grappling hook onto someone doing a kung fu kick yeah grappling hook foo we do lots of foot stuff uh it's all in foot club oh boy So I'm I'm messing with. No oh way! I should move this. I could. Eh. I should be in the area I'm building. Uh, I'm messing here with. So I got this cool. We got a, a fun drop down gag. We can have like goblins go down this layer. Um, hmm. <laughs> Craig Kaflar says DF has a foot fetish. And he's not wrong. It's, uh... That's not to love. Well, webbed toes on ducks, but, you know, other than that. <laughs> hmm. Ducks with feet is blasphemy, says Robert Burner. <laughs> Man, that's going to get us. The vengeful toad duck. Toad says, duck. Says a uh, hell fur. Is it like a T-O-A-D duck? T-O-E-D. It's yeah, a but, duck with toes. Yeah, but what if it was a toad duck with toes? It's a duck toad with toes. Yeah, toad duck toad. Ugh. A toad toad duck. A toad toad duck. Totally. But uh Hmm. 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 The like Google this. image sur search of to a foot is just not great. Hmm. <laughs> but go on. What were you gonna say? I don't know. I'm not. I don't know what this build. I'm not. It's not. Uh... It's not pleasing me. It is vexing me. Um, I'm worried about the game ability. Oh, you know what we're going to do? <laughs> Hashtag game ability. Maybe we do this. Maybe we move.
But what would be fun, right? Like, what's the the fun for the players? Like, what's the uh, right? It's just it's a it's sort of not knowing where the goblins are going to come next. Slash a couple of simple traps. Slash. Hmm. Slash. <laughs> that was, the slash in last month's build of the month was a uh, that was a hit. <laughs> at least at least in this uh, in this household. Among the younger generation. Alright. Craig Kevlar says you could climb running into more and more complex traps until you finally realize the goblins have brought in a clan of kobolds as the greatest low CR annoyance ever. That's awesome. They've they've outsourced their trap making to just a bunch of kobolds. Or they've enslaved kobolds and made them uh build traps for them or like You know what it is the maybe the hobgoblins that are cuz you know hobgoblins are responsible for everything, right? They're the they're really the menace. So maybe the hobgoblins have brought in a. Uh, they knew the goblins were no good at this, so they just brought in. Their they have some professional kobold contractors that they work with regularly. To, uh, <laughs> freelance goblins. No freelance kobolds. They're they goblins freelance are, kobolds. They, yeah. They, right. The, the kobold trap coalition. Right, so Goblins and Pugwumpies have teamed up to defend a, sh a shared lair. The Pugwumpies' bad luck ability works with the goblin traps to kill invaders. Wait, wait, wait. What is a Pugwumpy? This is, you've stumped me. That's what I want to know. <laughs> I, have not, I am not familiar with the Pugwumpy. Ildnoth, please get back to us on that. The Pugwumpy? Is this a thing, like, how do I not know the... Yeah. Nate. The Pugwumpy. Pugwumpy, enter Google. Is it a dog? Ah. Like a pug. Whoa. Oh, wait. It's a. Um, it's a Pathfinder. Meonster. Meonster? What's the, what are the characteristics of a pugwumpy? It's like a gremlin. Well, how is it different from a gremlin? Yo, one of the images that show up is like it's like a werewolf, <laughs> amphibious goblin wait, what? with crustacean hands. Wait, 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 wait. I don't wait. think that's what it is, but wait. like this is sick. <laughs> I can't even wait. A werewolf goblin with like lobster claws? Yeah, it's awesome. How? It's like a were lobster. I, 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 yeah, I didn't know that uh, that was a thing. But I'm glad to know this now. Pugwumpy? I don't think that's what a pugwumpy is. Let me go back to the chat. I got distracted on Google. You have to... Pugwumpies are indeed a thing, confirms Finlay Shards. It's a small critter that projects a bad luck field, giving disadvantage ah. on all rolls. It's kind of like a gremlin. Evil gremlin. Uh, a bad luck. Rabbit Burner says, Pugwumpies? And you thought water rabbits were weird. Yeah. No, uh, Pugwumpies are for sure weird. Like, I'm... I like, the, I like the idea of, like, an unlucky gremlin. That's cool. Yeah. Pugwumpy. Ooh, Pugwumpy. It totally sounds like a, a kid's toy, right? Like... Yeah. For Christmas, instead of like Tickle Me Elmo, you're going to get your kids like pug wumpies. So one year for Christmas, all I wanted, I was, I was an infant, so I don't remember this, but I just wanted a Tickle Me Elmo so bad. And my mom went to every store and couldn't find one. Uh, but then uh, she she called Toys R Us and she was like, do you have any on back order? And then they came back. They're like, well, we have one Tickle Me Elmo, but the eyes are on backwards. <laughs> Wait, what? And she was like, I'll take it. <laughs> But the eyes are on backwards? What do you mean? Yeah, the eyes like, are backwards. Wh wh how do you have backwards eyes? Like, what does it even look like? Like, what the, they... like the, you know, the, they, like, sew on the eyes, but yeah. they were just, like, like giant round balls. They were just backwards. So, oh, like, like, the it was pupils. like a possessed elbow. <laughs> of course. I think that's why I am the way I am. Of course you had, the, that's why you love tieflings, or you had demon eye el elbows. <laughs> and they're like, oh, that's everything should look like. 
It's that's amazing. That like that choice changed you for life. <laughs> Finley Shard says, Nate, hey. put straight sections upside down and other straight sections for areas the players have to crawl through due to low ceiling. Mmm. That's a good mean thing. Alright, do low uh are goblins they're media are they small or are they uh, they're small, right? They're not tiny, they're small. Gremlins? No, goblins. Goblins. Why do I brain no work? Yeah, I blame the pandemic. Yeah, they're small. They're, they're not tiny, right? Mm, no. Because we could. Uh... Oh yeah, I have the minis. I should know that they're. Uh... Hmm. Because we can also do this is another fun. We can take this thing, and put this in a like a uh, put it in the passageway so it's like you have to squeeze through. If you're say like a medium sized creature, you have to squeeze. Goblins can go through no problem. So same with the halflings and the gnomes, but the. Uh... Everybody else has got to do a squeeze. It slows them down. It's a terrible place to get ambushed. Like, we can do some fun bits like that. Yeah, this is uh, this is proving to be a little livelier than I was anticipating, which is good. It's uh, all right. Oh. I think I have something interesting here, ish, um, of sorts. Let's get this. Yield Noth, how about goblins afflicted with lycanthropy? They they turn into stray cats. <laughs> That's funny. The stray cat goblins. The Dwarven Forge office is now up to six cats. <laughs> no, eight if you incl include Toby's first foster. Um, the the pandemic uh, fosters and adoptions of cats were up to eight. <laughs> you mean with the the. I mean, because we already had, like, right between Janet's cats, my cats, Michelle's cats. We're talking about just yeah, the pandemic. New, like, new we cats. got eight more during the pandemic. <laughs> I adopted two. Toby fostered one, but when the foster got adopted, he ad he is now fostering four kittens well, he showed on top of his cat he adopted. He showed up we got to a lot the, of cats. the morning meeting today with with just, like, a, a this adorable little kitten in his and we're like, whoa, so thank you. Cute. And he's like, yeah, there's three more. I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah, he went, he went full, uh, he's, he went full cat lady. It's awesome. Uh, Toby usurped all of us cat ladies. Yeah. Oh, he's in it. Neofoya says, so how long until you have more cats than humans? We might be there. Let's see. Your two, my yeah. two, Janet's two. Does Michelle Chuck and Michelle have two? They had one recently pass. I don't know what they're... I'm going to be down to one then. Mm -hmm. um, Letitia has two. Toby now has five. <laughs> that... that brings... Oh, shoot. Wow. I think nice we're at 19. Save. 19 cats? Holy moly. I think so. Oh, wait, did you count, did you count uh, two, Eli's two, cats? He's Dougie two. and... I think he's got two cats. Okay, okay, okay. Let me. I'm gonna just write down the numbers instead of <laughs> using my fingers. They're like stretch goals. We're just like instead of using your fingers. I I just forgot which which end was which. <laughs> which end of what? <laughs> Eli has two. I believe so. I don't know. I get them confused with his chickens, which is another thing. Do we count the number of chickens in the, uh... Oh, do I not have another th I count 13 right now. Oh, I didn't include your two, so we're at 15. It's a lot of cats. And then, like, does Jay have a cat? No, he's Probably a dog. Not. He's a dog. He's a dog person. Mm-hmm. Huh. Oh, Tyler and Chris have one. So we're at we're at sixteen cats. <laughs> Let's keep. Uh... We're at what nineteen Dwarven Forge employees? Yeah, I think so. 
anyway, back to the chat. <laughs> Lots of cat cat uh, emotes. Thank you everyone for that. Uh, Resin DF question: Best storage option other than the box they came in. Ooh, these are good questions. Well, I'm sure chat has a bunch of really good ideas. But I would also suggest the um, uh, a cheapest option is the Alex IKEA drawers are uh, are good if you reinforce the uh, drawers. That's a really good solution. And um, the flat expensive the flat file cabinets I love. Uh, also, just big for dwarf knight stuff like just big bins, plastic bins that you can see through, that are. You know, not not so big. Like this is probably the upward size that you want to get, where it's like big enough that you can still carry it when it's full of dwarvenite, but you can kind of get through to everything. Um, well, it's for resin. Oh, for resin, flat file cabinets. Yes. Flat file cabinets. They're pricey, but they're like that's the best. Uh, they're like just just over two inches high. Um, they, you know, what I can here. Should... Forums, people, uh, people have a lot of good stuff. Let me see. Are you saying like they, uh, they're like big? Oh, right, they're big. Dang. Um, they're two inches, just over two inches high, so they hold your pieces, and they're really deep, right? You can open. They're like thirty-six inches deep or whatever, so you can uh, keep all of your stuff and. They're metal, so you can uh, you can put like your magnetic uh, accessories on them. So, yeah. I wow, don't... that's awesome. Yeah, but they're really expensive. But you can find them on eBay. Um, pretty affordable. Like that was a gray one I got on eBay, and I spray painted it. The problem is they weigh like 150 or 200 pounds or something, so they're kind of hard to to transport around. Oh, you walked away from the mic when you were oh, going sorry. through all that, so they could not really hear you. Oh, they're 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 about three inches, three feet deep by, or three feet wide by two feet deep, two inches high. Uh, they weigh like 150 pounds or something. That I got on eBay pretty cheap because it was gray, so I, gray and rusty, so I spray painted it. Um, but they're heavy, they're hard to transport. Once you have them, they're like, they're absolutely the best thing designed for, um, for, for resin, particularly for resin, because they they can hold the weight. They're the perfect height. They're like they're dynamite. But uh, I think Safeco makes them. There's a couple brands, but they're they're pricey. Like they're new. They cost like a thousand bucks or something. But if you hunt around on eBay, obviously shipping is is debilitating. But if someone in your you know within driving distance is is getting rid of one, they are uh, they're the best. So I photoshopped a duck with feet on it. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's bad. You're you're not at all amused. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> this is a bad thing. I I've done a bad thing. You see you feel terrible about it, I can tell. You uh... I did a really bad thing, guys. This is gonna I'm gonna post this on our Instagram story. Um I think you can, we're public, so I think if you go to Instagram.com on browser, you can, uh, you click the image of our profile photo, and it'll automatically play our story for you, and then you can just see this monstrosity. What have you done? You're crying. Uh, n nothing good. This is bad. Hmm. I cannot stress that enough. So. So this is how we do a build of the month. This is this is uh, yeah, a little bit into my process. I sit and ponder over terrain, and you ponder over what fun things you can put in there to make it lively. Yes. Yeah. And together it becomes a lively thing. All right, so I'm getting closer to a thing, but it's still not like, hmm, what do I have here? I, did this, I could use this as an entrance. Hmm. <laughs> You know what we need? What do we need? Tell me. Um, we need a... Hmm. I don't have a curve. 
I don't know what we need. Let's let's ask the audience what do we need. Everyone, tell Nate what he needs. Yeah, I'm gonna walk through it and we'll see what I still have a dead end. Is there another chamber we can put? Hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Uh, musical gamers tuning in for the first time and hey you musical just gamer in time for us to talk about duck with ducks with feet that's i you see you didn't know what you're getting into but <laughs> welcome may may the footed toe-footed duck always uh guide you always be ever in your favor because <laughs> you know when the toe-footed duck is not in your favor bad news Uh, all right, let's Musical walk. gamer says fantastic. They support <laughs> my choices. They're <laughs> thank you. <laughs> they're into it. Whatever it is, they're into it. Uh, Odin Force DM says you need a hard cider. Ah, man, I cer certainly do. Makes my just every. Although you know the problem is, it then kind of signals to my mind that the day is over. Um, sort of. So if I start day drinking, it's like. It just uh, productivity goes down. But let's see. All right, let's look at. Well, we almost use all the pieces. What do I have? One ramp tip. We can put this up here. Um, let me figure out what a trap is. I got a couple of stilts. Hmm. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna let's walk through it with the camera, and we can talk about what's going on. So. Finley would like to know if you're playing this, are the upper levels easy to lift off with the terrain trays? Just thinking about how Warble Board will be able to show it to the players. Yeah, I don't I don't know yet. I'm gonna So that's the that's the other challenge. Is that, I mean conceptually we can fly these things in pretty easily. Let's see. I don't know. The problem is also revealing like working our way down. So I don't know how that's going to, that was all for, so the reason for doing this was to sort of run it, figure out what all the problems were for Monday. Oh. Um, and I, uh, first problem is going to be, I think if I'm overlapping everything, level, revealing it as we go, it's hard to fly them in and raise them up. Although maybe, I don't know yet. Well, let's see what, so I'll Tune say, in next Monday to see how this plays out. Oh man, it's going to be lively. Uh, all right, so this is what we have so far. So we're we have them coming in here. It's a single entrance. Um, I haven't put in any traps yet, uh, but then it's gonna immediately you get faced with there's a passage down, there's a little dead end, and then there's a split here. Um, we could put a trap. Like I don't know if you were a goblin, where would you put the obvious? Don't go here. You know what? Maybe we do. Like maybe this is the. Uh, like they kind of block this area off, so it's harder to go through, and that's where the goblins go. But and this is the trap or something. I don't know. Well, the thought was this area over here. Wait, let me get into focus. The thought was this would be you could pop this thing out, and this maybe we leave it open. Even this is an area where the goblins can drop. You can drop down to the layer below. They can ambush. Players can get down there. Maybe we leave that open something um we have what are these things like this is this is, yeah we got a whole bunch of different ways to go down to the next level right so we can do basically everything is feeding yeah. you down to this central area and this is a big drop down what are you gonna say that this would just be so much fun to play in person it's such a shame we can't because seeing that like can like that point of view shot you're doing is just real good yeah, it's going to be interesting on Vorpal to see how it, it ha holds up on... Because uh, it's definitely like the, the three-dimensionality. Like if you come up here, everything flattens out. Uh, out of focus also. Let's see. Right. So what, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it's all... I don't know. i got to wrap my head around this more. I'm worried now. Uh, but so the question is, do we... What do we... What do we do? We have a couple of pieces left. We have a couple more stilts. One more dead end. I haven't put any traps in. Um, but the idea is when they get to this final, this area, they kind of, kind of have to make their stand here, set up the thing, and 
Uh, there's goblins can come in from there. These are dead ends on either side. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, goblins from there, there. There's a lot of ways. One, two, three, four. Four ways in. This one, they're they're dropping through there. Um, Musical Gamer 44 says, perhaps make a trap where some wild, hungry chickens push the players somewhere. <laughs> it's Eli's chickens. That's right. I love that. They've, uh, they, the goblins is have Eli, got... Is no. Eli playing in this game? No, he can't get his, his internet. Um, is in, ah! his, he does not have internet that can support it yet. Uh, and he has no option for getting it until there's some cantankerous neighbor has to let the internet company build something on his land to boost the signal to whatever. It's like, it basically, oh. it's, it's never going to happen in the immediate future is what it seems like, which is really frustrating because Eli is just like so wonderfully fun to play with. Um, and his champion at the bit and has a cool character and everything. And he's sculpting a mini for his thing. He's like, you know, he's all in. Uh, all in. All right. So what do we, so chat, what do we need? What's this? Uh, let me put this in here. What do we what do we need in here that we uh, how to be more exciting for the players? So they're faced with a bunch of choices from here. Although I guess it kind of you know maybe the downside is this is very is maybe it's too direct a way. If they go down here, it's then pretty direct to get all the way down to the bottom. But maybe that's okay, all right? Maybe they. Uh, maybe? I like this. This is really this is dangerous. Wait till I fill it with like a hundred goblins. <laughs> and, <laughs> Yeah. And did you bring Mouther? There may be uh, maybe some sort of Mouther pit or a, maybe it's just a pit full of toe ducks, right? They're, oh, like, I love ducks with toes. Wet toe ducks, like, ugh. Uh, oh, I love, oh, their feet are so wet, too. There's definitely some fungus. Gross. <laughs> um, could they share it's just I mean, a wall of thorns representing roots of trees and things above? Mm. Yes, sir. Runkle plays game says if they go the direct route, then that should be the most trapped, horrid, bad idea way to go. Great idea. Yes, hundred percent. And you know maybe the uh, right maybe that's maybe they don't use this tunnel right. So maybe we specifically trap here or something. The goblins, the goblins don't use the direct route. Although they, I feel like goblins are lazy, right? So they would want to use the direct route, right? So how do they? How do they kind of encourage big people? The chat's in... suggesting a roller rolling boulder trap. Oh. Dude, the rolling boulder would be I need to find I don't know where my the little rolling boulder is. That would be a really good one for this. Um Yeah, maybe and maybe the non direct route has the prisoner that they can uh potentially role play with and or rescue. Um so let me see. So that there's like a reason. It's pretty neat. It's definitely got Finlay some. Shards. Yeah. Uh, Finley Shard says the goblins trap the direct route as that's where the Cree live. Oh, we should just have a Cree pit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cree pit. They're <laughs> little, the eggs have ducks with toes inside of them. <laughs> and they, just the players, they do an investigation check. They're like, what monstrosity is this? Hey, they, they'll never know <laughs> no matter what you roll you just logic can't uh can't begin to comprehend this <laughs> the horror of this magnitude you know what i forgot the the crazy refuse pit thing i was doing before hmm. maybe darger says the goblins shoot into the room via slide tunnels that the pcs can't fit This. Darger says, Otiyug, which Otiyug. I don't know what that is. Otiyug. What's Tra that? Trash eating, uh, nasty. Uh, they, they live in filth. It's like a weird, it's like imagine like a kind of like a round job of the hut with like one, an eye stalk with, um, with two eyes on it, like a weird eye stalk that comes out and then three tentacles and three legs and it just sort of sits and a big giant mouth and it. It sits and eats, uh, it just eats refuse, eats trash. Um, Yum. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a classic sewery monster. Um, 
and it uh or you know it's like it lives in it just eats it eats filth it eats it eats dung it's uh yeah not so not so not attractive it's it might even be worse than a toe duck uh no i don't know you don't know about toe duck <laughs> you don't know if no, it's worse worse <laughs> I, I don't know if I can imagine something worse. Dent twenty eight says a Cree baby looks like a duck with toes. Mm. That is canon now. Fact. It's a miracle that their mothers uh, don't just mercy kill them right out of the gate. <laughs> if you guys would like to see ducks with toes, go to our Instagram story. It's up. Hey, do you want me to drop it into oh, Slack so no. you can have a live react? Uh, yeah, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna live in a wonderful world without toe ducks. No. Oh, I'm not gonna let that happen. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you too can prevent toe ducks. All right, so I put a, uh, I put a, a, oh, it's going to be overhead. I added the, uh, I added this little area which can go to the, the offal pit, right? That could be where the, the Odiog or the Cree or a thousand rats or just a, a swarm of toe ducks. What's a group of toe ducks called? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it? A group of ducks is a, a gather? A gaggle? Or gaggle of geese. A gaggle? It's a, it's ga a gaggle of geese, but... Yeah. Uh, chat, do you know? What's a, what's a flock of ducks? A flock of geese? A, fl uh, a waddle? A, flock, a yeah. waddle? A waddle of ducks? A waddle of toe ducks. A wet waddle? Ooh. A floppy... Uh, flip, flip, bleh. Sockful, says Finley Shards. A sockful of toe ducks. <laughs> a morden oh. says toe duckin'. Toe duckins. Yeah, this poor who is it? Art Art DM order who tuned in for the first time is like he's like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna come back to these uh building of the build of the month. It might uh <laughs> might run its course. A moist waddle says Darner. Oh gross. A scourge of toe ducks. A scourge. A horde. The toe duck horde is feared all over Valoria. You do not spoke its name. The was it a moist waddle is like that's that yeah, those words should not be uh, together ever in a sentence. All right, I think we got something. I like sockful. Sockful wins my heart. Sockful. <laughs> hmm. I could put this up. Uh, I'm excited to see the reactions for the people who didn't tune in. Dude, why is it a toe duck? On our Instagram yeah. story. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what is... <laughs> you guys I'm have gone off. to ruin a lot of people's days. <laughs> Anyway, this is the kind of hosting you get from Selena. I wouldn't have it any other way. Toe ducks, toe ducks for days. You know, be who you are. Toe duck freak. <laughs> uh, it's a toe duck fetish. Thank you. Don't yuck my yum. Toe ducking. That's what uh, that's what our kids say. Don't yuck. Or it's what we say to our kids. You know. Don't yuck their yum. Oh yeah, you they, you were like you were like, hey, you want to try tofu? And they're like, hey, yucky. And they're like, no, we like it. Don't yuck my yum. Mm -hmm. so, thing trying to get kids to eat. It's a, it's a thing because they don't. <laughs> I mean, obviously they do because they haven't died yet. But they're like, I don't know. They they only eat like three things: cereal, and more cereal. Mm. <laughs> Chicken nuggets, pizza. Pizzas, iffy chicken nuggets, so so they're kind of like they don't like pizza. Yeah, Nate. I know they're also kind of like vegetarian y, which is weird. <laughs> Nathan, middle name Taylor. Bauman. Bauman. Yeah, the Bauman. Yeah. Nathan Bauman Taylor. <laughs> you failed as a parent. They don't like pizza. Yeah, but you know, you know why it's it's kind of awesome. More for me. More yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, just, I'm not complaining. Do they like 
pepperoni on their pizza? As a kid, I didn't like pepperoni on my pizza. No, they 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 sometimes they want plain pizza. They'll eat it. Sometimes they won't. And but they definitely don't want pepperoni. That's of all things. Which is I dang? Mean, I'm about to get a pizza delivered. Anyone who tuned into Friday's stream also had pizza delivered after the stream. It was just mm. a food conversation the whole time. Dude, I love pizza. Oh. So good. I know. I kind of want. You know, the other thing is like streaming during the day. I feel like it's already dinner time. I'm getting hungry now, but it's not even. Uh... It's four. It's four twenty-two. All right, but still it's dinner not... time. Maybe. Yeah, I might get I might get pizza delivered. Yeah, that's a good plan. I I uh I subscribe to this plan. Craig Kaflar says he needs more barbecue chicken pizza, which mm. is an homage to the Friday night stream. Yeah. There was a whole discussion right about uh buffalo based something. I don't know. So oh, buff putting buff cheese putting blue cheese on your with pizza. Yeah, and how it's like an affront to uh, humanity or not. And... Uh, Finley Shard says it's 9.22 p.m. and he had pizza before the stream. Mm. Pele Afar says it's 11 p.m. here. Don't feel guilty. Yafaya says it's 10 p.m. here. So, you know, it's pizza time somewhere. But you should fear the toe ducks. <laughs> like that's, they're like, let's focus. Yeah, let's get back to the case point. The purpose of the stream is toe ducks. Toe duckins. Did we, we already talked about toe duckins, right? Yes. Huh. Uh, so back to the burrows. Anyone have any more advice for Nate before we log off? Hmm. Maybe we put this. I like. Hey, what are some discoveries you've made? You know, the biggest discovery. Is, well, first of all, this, I forgot this. This set is big. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of pieces. Like, there's enough to do something noteworthy here. Um, the uh, the big discoveries this is gonna be a trap um i'm verticality on stream is the big yeah uh, it looks so know, good in person I'm, like i'm well, a like from that angle yeah i'm i'm a little apprehensive of how i'm gonna do this capture this on stream um particularly because they're not going to be there so i have to sort of you know make it kind of clear enough where their choices are and how it all works. And maybe, you know, it might be a matter of sort of flying in levels. Like this whole this whole area is one level. Put that on a couple of terrain trees, fly it in. I know where it connects because I, maybe I build it, take photos of it, whatever, and then have each have three or four different levels that I can fly in and connect. So when they go down to the next thing, I just fly that out, fly the next one in. Although if they get strung out and they're on multiple levels, it's gonna well, Chris will probably die Ooh. quickly at that point. I like they need to not get. They're gonna get. They're. It's gonna become rapidly bad if somebody gets cut off from the herd, like you know, lots and lots and lots. Gonna of, have our, you're gonna have a stream death. I was gonna say the first, but um, me and Hamster's character died in the Hellscape stream. Mm. Well, not technically. We you didn't die on camera, they're right? Trapped you, in hell. Yeah, you're you're gonna be alive for a long time. <laughs> It's uh, oh. If I die in hell, do I get to go to heaven? Oh no, no, no! Your soul is down there fueling some terrible infernal like war machine. <sighs> yeah, tough way to shoot. go. It's double shoot. Um. Uh, Neofoya says that it's reasonable to have each level on its own. Uh, Amorden seventy one says if you take off a level, what about a retreat and having to go back to a level? Well, I'll have them on. You know, I'll just be able to fly them in and out. Uh, so we can, you know, I can sort of quickly. Oh, Thad's pinging. Oh, Thad's like he's like I'll help you guys work this out on Vorpal. He's uh, he's yeah. he's he's up Thank for the challenge. Can. Boom, Vorpal board. Um, so yeah, well I'll have him. I can fly the levels back in and out as we go. Um, whatever. You know the it's. I think the other the other learning is, I guess I, in my mind it needed to be even more complicated, but it might be, like if I'm trying to do this rapidly, it might already be complicated enough, right? There's enough sort of That's twists and point. turns. That's enough for two hours right there. Yeah. So like it just, so it's probably enough, like it doesn't have to be, you know, five intertwining 
levels and things. If there's a couple of, of ways to drop down levels, there, you know, we got at least two ways to sort of drop down levels. There's multiple ramps. There's multiple ways to get where you're going. Um, there, the couple of the big, the big things I gleaned from this also are the, you know, making the goblins like having the goblins like it, you know. If you don't do something about them, they're going to destroy everything you hold dear. Like that's a great way to just say you have to do things. Flooding the burrows is such a cool. I, that was a really that's a that's a good one. And having some sort of terrible weird pet, be it odiogs or spiders or Cree or whatever. You know, there's something like we could have a you know a pit of whatever or a thing. You know, like something that's a bigger threat than goblins that you could potentially bring to bear if you need to. Um, maybe they. Oh, we have the kennels of like you know. Spiders, boars, bear, uh, wolves, giant rats, whatever. There could be like a kennels area that they pass, and that's what I didn't build as a kennels. And they're like, you know what? If we if these goblins get alerted and they open up that stuff, we're really in trouble. Or maybe they set on fire. I don't know. They, that's another option, right? Give them a prisoner. Give them a kennels. Especially because they've got a druid with them. Hex is going to be like, no, we have to free these animals. And they'll be like, no, we have a mission. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be drama already. I love it. All right, so I'm going to put a kennels in. I'm going to put... I'm going to put a prisoner in somewhere. I'm going to put a pit to terrible toe ducks um, and speed. Oh, that is lighting stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Finley um, brought up the fact that you can um, upload PNGs to Vorpal, and so you could do some type of layered effect. Yeah. Yeah, we can take some cool high-res photos and kind of fly in each. Although then, how do we move the minis... You know, people have also been doing this on like Roll Twenty or something. They've been taking high res overheads of the Dwarven Forge yeah. build and flying them in, right? Doing it. Yeah, Thad's got some ideas. He's uh, he's he's lighting up Great. my phone right now. So we'll. Thanks we'll have... for tuning in, Thad. Yeah, this is awesome. It'll be an industry collaboration. To figure out how to make some cool multi level thing because it's it's also it's got to be three quarter view, right? We're gonna have to. Um... All right, let's get some. Like, maybe it's over here. Oh, oh. <laughs> too much. You know, uh, I need to step away for a second. Someone's knocking up. on my door. Uh oh. Mute it. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, something like some sort of three quarter thing looks more interesting. I don't know where it is. That's the other thing I need to build to camera, which I hadn't really thought about. Too. This is why I'm doing a dry run here. Because that kind of just looks like a jumble of whatever. I don't know. Lighting it. I don't know. Something here. Um, are there any parting notes from uh, from chat? Who was at the door? My landlord wanted to come by and specifically come into this room, and I said, no. Nope. <laughs> Not a good time. Uh, it was the ASPCA parting... calling for uh, the toe duck. Uh, they're like, we hear a report of a, a, yeah, a they, horde of toe ducks. Yeah, the chat swatted me. Yeah. <laughs> the, to the ASPCA. <laughs> yeah. Um, Finley Shards is really excited to get his warp aboard. Yee! Uh, Rabbit Burner says me the too. bit looks awesome. Dan28 says it looks great. Yeah, I'm still not... Uh, I don't know. Maybe, you know, I maybe I should have... Eat... You know what it is? I need to rotate it for camera. I think the the highest area should be in the back. It's hard to see. It would be easier to see it from from over here. If the highest area is in the back and we flow down. Like in terms of for tomorrow, I'll maybe I'll rotate it 180 degrees. Um, mm -hmm. So it'll be easier to see what the heck is uh, is going. Hmm. Lots of fun goblin so, ideas. Do you, do you tune think... in to the build of the month uh, to see where we've ended up with this. Uh, that'll be on YouTube uh, in two-ish weeks from now, hopefully. Uh, like we said, X Day of Soon is uh, the new the new formula for when we uh, launch things. This is the best. And we uh, and we'll be playing on Monday. You know, a week from today at 7 p.m. Uh, I'm gonna have them race. In. And this is just Act One. This is like this is the warm up. Just act One. Yeah, we'll see what they. Uh, I don't know. I think I think we can give them so, a sufficient. Like they're gonna go in thinking it's just goblins, and I think they'll be they'll limp out of there going, "I hope we never have to face goblins again." That's the. Uh... That's how I feel. Right. Yeah. Well, you just because you've uh... been hitting that same note over and over again. We'll just overwhelm them with once and be like, "All right, we're done with goblins." 
Yeah. yeah. I'm dropping our social media information onto here if you want to follow me and Nate on the internet. Woo! Are we on the internet? Let's go back to this. Uh, boom. Oh, sorry for that screech. Boop. All right. So. All right. Any uh. Any other closing uh, closing words for the world? Before Thank we you so things? much for asking. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on how we can spice up building up the build of the month to give this its own uh, voice, please drop a suggestion in the comments or send us messages on social media. We'd love to hear back from you. Submit your builds to us on social media. Yes. Don't forget to enter our castle contest. We are announcing the winner on, on the Anvil this Wednesday. Uh, if you don't watch, we will message you directly, of course. Uh, but have everyone in the chats like congratulate you, like yeah. hooray! Virtual high fives, and let us know. You know, let us know what builds of the month you'd like to see coming up. Like what style yes. encounters, what terrain you'd like to use. Um, uh, check out the build of the month bundle that will be released with this video. Uh, so yeah. you can buy all of these sets baked into a thing with a special surprise incentive. Woo! And uh, if you would like to help support us during the pandemic, please bank your money for now. And then <laughs> Wildlands is coming up. Uh, so the best way to support us will be to uh, take part of our Kickstarter that will happen hopefully this summer. Yeah, hopefully we launch it in the next two to three months. <laughs> the X, X day the of the, the Y month. Mm. Yes, the X day of the Y month is when we will be launching. So that's the best way to support us. Uh, and to, yeah. of course, tell tell your friends about us, your DMs, all that stuff. Well, thank you. Uh, that, thank you guys for tuning in and all these uh, great ideas. And uh, it's fun to sort of Thank just... you for toe ducks. Oh, man. No, no, thank you for toe ducks. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's, fun to, it's fun to hear uh, your ideas and suggestions and all this sort of fun brainstorming and where it might, you know, what you would do if you were doing this and whatnot. And that's kind of neat. Let's look at this thing. See the, uh, I don't know. It should be uh should be kind of cool. We're gonna shoot it tomorrow, and we'll have it up in about two weeks, and you'll see some variation on this next Monday, and uh, I'll do the Act Three on Monday. Bonkers! It's gonna be uh, it's I, I don't know. I'm really yeah. I'm I'm excited. I don't know how it's all gonna uh, pan out yet, but uh, should be good. Um. I think that's it, right? Any, uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good night. Enjoy your See pizza. You Wednesday.